sportswearenc.com for contact information and to get shopping. University Sportswear ENC.com, the official sportswear provider of Pirate Radio. Hey, Pirate Nation, this is Holton Aylers. And when it comes to getting your family together, there's no better place than Familia, which is Italian for family. Familia is the place I like to bring my football family, especially my offense alignment. Whether it's great New York-style pizzas, homemade meatballs, lasagna, chicken parmesan, or delicious homemade desserts, Familia is a winning play every time. For dine-in or takeout, make Familia your go-to play when you have a hungry team. Familia on Fire Tower Road near Pitt Community College. Go Pirates! Hello folks, this is Jamie Lane with Carolina Hardscapes and Mulch. We believe that making memories with your family and friends is what life is all about. If you have a dream of having a backyard patio, fireplace, pool, walkways, fire pits, or more, then Carolina Hardscapes is the place to call at 364-1201. You can stop by our outdoor showroom on Fire Tower Road across from Bostick Oak Furniture. At Carolina Hardscapes, we look forward to making your backyard the place to be. Find us on the web at carolinahardscapesandmulch.com. Hi, I'm Annalie Newhoff. And I'm Rob Campbell. And, and we, we are, are with Copy Pro. Pro. We have been locally owned and operated here in eastern North Carolina for almost 50 years. Copy Pro is the leader in office technology. Does your business struggle with keeping printing costs low or producing professional documents? Here at Copy Pro, total customer satisfaction is our number one priority. We have a variety of solutions to help reduce your printing expenses and make your business more productive. Call us today at 1-800-682-6558 or online at copypro.net. Copy Pro. We are the professional office systems people. This is Pirate Radio, WGHB Farmville, 1250 at 92.7 FM Greenville, WDLX Washington, 930 at 104.1 FM Washington. Flight by Yingling. It's the next generation of light beer. For those who don't follow trends, but craft them. Flight by Yingling is 12 ounces of uncompromised refreshment from America's oldest brewery. With only 2.6 grams of carbs and 95 calories, this is premium refreshment, six generations in the making. Don't just raise a glass, raise the bar. Flight by Yingling. Available wherever beer is sold. DG Yingling and Sun Incorporated. Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Please enjoy responsibly. Can you be quiet, please? Thank you. Welcome to Pirate Radio Live. There's local politics, bud. I want to shake his hand. I want to shake his hand. I want to shake his hand. Was that supposed to be funny? Get these clowns out of here. Why would they do that? You were having a freaking game. Dude. It's a cocky bunch, man. Now live from the Pirate Radio studios in the heart of the Pirate Nation, here is your host, Clip Brock. Welcome in to a Wednesday edition of Pirate Radio Live. Clip Brock here with you inside the Pirate Radio studios. Coming to you today on Pirate Radio 92.7 FM in Greenville, 104.1 in Washington. We're on 1250, 930. You can find us online, PR 927.com fm.com and watch the show on facebook live and on youtube you can subscribe to pirate radio tv today on youtube see this program the brian bailey show and all of our programs and interviews here at pirate radio also follow us on facebook for all the latest news and notes and live video like we're on right now you can chime in on today's program got a big show on tap for you today the voice jeff charles will join us coming up in about 20 minutes or so, we'll talk East Carolina, NC State. We'll dive more into that in the 4 o'clock hour uh, when we uh, hear more interviews from Media Day as we got a lot of coaches and players still to hear from from Saturday's East Carolina Media Day. We'll have a full report there. Coming up around 425, Patrick Mason, Daily Reflector, will join us to give us his thoughts on Media Day and also talk ECU and NC State. Stephen Igo, Hoist the Colors, is in at 5 o'clock. We got one more position preview for you. We'll talk special teams on today's show as we'll have a returning kicker, a new punter. Sounds like Keaton Mitchell going to be back there returning kicks. So we got a lot to discuss when it comes to East Carolina special teams in hour number three. Shirley Rhodes is here. The Chan Man is here. CJ Schaefer's here. Ellerby's here. And uh, this is not Willie Smith. This is Troy D. Good to see Another you. athlete yes. joining us. Yeah, former offensive lineman, from former, what I understand. Former pirate. Someone well, asked Troy D one day when he played offensive line I in did, East Carolina. I did get that question. They're like, when were you on the O-line again? And what was the, what was the answer? I said I, was more, I said I was more of a special teams guy. No, 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 no. That is, that is fake news. Troy's answer was, 
Offensive line. I didn't play offensive line at East Carolina. That was his answer. <laughs> that is and, a true answer. It is true, but it also implies that maybe you played at another well, school. So I did, Cliff. <laughs> so as soon as he said that, my follow-up was, well, in likeness, where were you in offensive line? Then? <laughs> that was a good answer, though, yeah. Troy. That's, uh, I'm going to pull that page out of your book. honest. Right? I said I didn't play offensive line at East Carolina. All right. Uh, hey, good to have you guys here. Good, Good to, to be, be here. here. And when the boys are back in town, that means there's an announcement. Clip, to make. we do have an announcement. We have done some pro- promotional shirts that are not for sale. We did these for some of our uh, special advertisers. Correct. You, you can't buy these, yet they've become the most sought after t shirt in the Pirate Nation, I would say, over the last week or so. And uh, they're very cool. The front has uh, a, a very awesome looking Pirate Radio logo on it. But the back, we're calling these our wolf shirts. Um, so it has a, uh, a cool look to it. And, uh, we have the, the state of North Carolina with a, uh, a wolf that's just saying, let's down say, on his luck. down on his luck a little bit. Um, we, these once again are not for sale, but if you want to get one, which they're very hard to get because we've only printed a few of these, uh, they are going to be available Thursday, Jonathan, at UBE. Our party is one week from tonight, the Pirate Radio Football Kickoff Party at the State Theater. Well, I'm going to be there. It's going to be on Thursday, Troy Day. Oh, yeah. Thursday. I'm sorry. I'm already thinking it's Thursday. I know. Too God, many I'm so fired up. I'm one day ahead of time. Too many offensive line concussions. <laughs> and that's unnamed school. Right. Oh, uh, one, one week in a day from now. Next Thursday. Next Troy Thursday. Day. September 1st. Not this Thursday. We'll be at the State Theater. Uh, we're less than 200 tickets remaining right now. Correct. Uh, we're going to take a handful of these tickets down to UBE Thursday at 10 a.m. If you come and you buy two tickets, you have to buy two tickets. They're only 10 bucks each. All that money goes to charity. Uh, you will be able to get one of these shirts, but limited edition. Now, we're, they will probably sell out at the ticket allotment we have pretty quickly. Yeah, it'll go real so. fast. We, ha- we have a limited number of shirts, limited number of tickets. Uh, folks have been asking about these shirts. We, we had a handful here at the studio. We're like, all right, let's give someone an opportunity to help raise money for charity, which is uh, raising money for Riley's Army, the ECU School of Nursing, Jeff Tr- uh, Heather Amperty Scholarship Fund, um, also Daughters for Dads, and uh, SportWorks Ministries. That's yep. what all the money for our ticket sales to the uh, Pirate Radio Party go for. So uh, what we decided to do let's take a handful of these tickets and a handful of these t-shirts down to ube at 10 o'clock on thursday uh will probably be sold out in a matter of 20 30 minutes because probably we don't, we don't have that many so get there and, early and, and once again so we we may not have your exact size i can't guarantee sizes it's first come first serve yeah. based on sizes and uh you can pick up two tickets you can come to an awesome party a week from thursday september 1st you can get one of these cool t-shirts you buy the two tickets and the shirt is free absolutely the shirt yeah. is absolutely 100 percent free so we're, we're it, selling tickets to raise money for our charities and we're going to give these shirts away we had a handful of them left that did not go through our sponsors so uh looking forward to having a big thursday at uh, ube 10 o'clock get there first come first serve and uh hopefully uh we'll we'll make some people happy and uh they'll get a, get some awesome tickets to come to an awesome event a couple questions we've had uh what about if i bought tickets earlier hey great we appreciate it we'd love to see the party this is for all people that are buying tickets to the party tomorrow if you've already this, bought tickets this, come on down to ube buy two more bring a friend yeah is, is what i was saying. I, um, I really appreciate that you've already bought tickets. and, and we are support. not printing more of these shirts and selling them separately what's out there is out there they're not for sale uh they're only available either through some of our sponsors or through this event coming up at ube yeah absolutely so it should be fun uh, a lot of people have asked on see we've done some giveaways on social media and uh, some of our clients have some at their locations uh, you may follow them on social media maybe you'll see how they're doing some giveaways with the shirts but uh, we do have a handful of tickets left and a handful of these shirts left so we thought hey look let's raise some money for our charities that we're trying to uh distribute for our party coming up a week from thursday and uh, it would be a fun way for someone to get a shirt for the game and uh, also a couple tickets to the party yeah so the if you come to ube you'll actually get two uh, what i would consider traditional paper tickets which is rare in this day and age everything else will be digital tickets online yes. and you can still buy your digital tickets online at pr927fm.com uh, and we are once again having that at the state theater the breakfast club will be in attendance coach houston will be there we also have the clydesdales will be making an appearance outside clip rock 
will be there. We'll be there. Our whole pirate Present. radio cast of characters will be there. Former long snapper Chandler Honeycutt will yeah. be there. Shirley Rhodes will be signing autographs. Shirley Rhodes will be in a good mood, wanting to talk yeah. to people that are going to call her on Saturday during the fifth quarter. So uh, lots of Brian Bailey's going to be there. All all the all the good folks. Jeff Charles, hey. the voice. Yeah. All the good folks that hang out with us regular here at Pirate Radio will be at our party. So it'll be a fun time. Yeah. So it'll be a lot of fun if you want to come and you want to try and, and get one of these shirts for free. As we said, UBE at 10 a.m. LRB and I will be down there. It is first come, first serve. Once it's gone, it's gone. But we did want to offer this as an opportunity for folks. Have y'all seen uh, Catholics versus Convicts, the yes. 30 for 30? I watched that again recently. And, you, Troy, you remind me of those guys if, like, they never grew up. Like, you're, you're still those guys. Uh, because this is a cool shirt, and it reminds me of that era and you used to do this when you were a student, I, right? I was in the shirt business. Make, like, game shirts, yeah, game-specific shirts. When I do more season shirts, uh, I did the ECU on a roll to a bolt shirt back in 1991 before ECU was even in a bolt, one of the legendary shirts uh, for East Carolina. I'll have to bring that in, Clip, and show it to you. I don't know if I've ever showed that to you. You said that, like, um, two months ago. You never brought it in. Oh, I didn't. I saw one of uh, – well, I, I did see a guy wearing it. Chandler, you were with me in the jungle at the Super Regional. It was one of your friends, wasn't it? He was, I couldn't believe, it was like mint conditioning. He got it from his dad. Yeah, no, it was uh, it was a regional. I was here in the studio. We had done a watch along. You came back onto the show, said, hey, there was a guy with a, my, my shirt on from 91. Yeah. And you showed me the picture. I, I was like, yeah, I know that. I was like, yeah, I know that dude. Yeah. So it was, a, it was a good business to be in back in the 90s. It's a good business to be in now. Makes it a cool collector's item, though. Yeah. You can get your hands on it. And some things are timeless. You know, books stand the test of time. Everyone's still going to wear a T-shirt. Those haven't gone out of style. I see people wear T-shirts all the time. Books stand the test of time. That's yeah. deep. Spe- especially at Troy's house because they never get open. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, think about how long books have been around. Yeah. You know, people want the books are, you know, yeah, sure, stuff goes digital, but books stand the test of time. I believe T-shirts will always stand the test of time. We believe because I'm with you there. I agree. Right. Yeah. Good stuff. Good deal. So come down to UBE, 10 o'clock. Might want to get there early. If uh, you're planning to get in line, we'll be right at the bottom of the stairs when you park in the UBE parking lot on Evans Street, and we will walk in a little before 10 and get rolling. And, uh, you know, two tickets goes to great four great charities, 20 bucks, and uh, get a free T-shirt. Yep. Yeah, and then come hang out with us next Thursday at the Pirate Radio <laughs> kickoff party. And, and always uh, the remaining tickets are on sale at PR927FM.com. They are going fast, expecting this to be a sellout maybe even by the weekend. It's uh, it's really picking up steam. All right, good deal. Uh, Troy will talk to you again tomorrow at 3 o'clock Look where, when it will be Thursday, and it will be one week away. Yes, I was just, I'm so fired up. I'm already getting ahead of myself, Clip. Yeah. Well, it's that season, man. So I, I, this is the last weekend before it all starts rolling. And what a week this is going to be next week. You know, you start off with our party, which is always tremendously fun and awesome way to get the season started. Then Friday, Freeboot Friday, right in front of our studios here in downtown Greenville at the Five Points Plaza. You, we've got Let's all, not forget the Clodsdales that afternoon oh, right. are going deli- to be are going to be delivering beer to and, many great local establishments right all downtown that's going to be a cool they've event. got a uh, case assigned to us we understand so we'll go make sure we get that that's awesome um we've got then free boot friday starting around five or five thirty i'll get to confirm the time on friday it is a free event uncle cracker scheduled to appear and we're expecting a possibly I've, i'm hearing from some folks with the city potentially a crowd the size if you were here when parmalee was here they're expecting a parmalee type size crowd for this because you kind of you've got um you know a huge weekend with the opening weekend you've got nc state in town you've got the first free boot you've got uncle cracker coming in so they're expecting a, a huge crowd for free boot friday then of course game day you have the game itself our coverage getting underway at 8 a.m with the bud light pregame tailgate and then of course taking you to the last caller served on the fifth quarter uh it's gonna be a big weekend that's a big three days right there 100 percent. and it's labor day this is this is no longer a, a a drill this is the real deal you better rest up this weekend guys because after this weekend it's full throttle you can feel the energy in the town the east carolina students are back uh that university and and classes are rocking and rolling pitt county schools kicks in on monday so uh, it's going to be a busy busy week uh, around uh, the city of greenville next week 
All right, good stuff, guys. Well, uh, Troy, we'll see you tomorrow. Elder we'll talk to Sounds you good. on the program next week. Sounds so, good. Guys. Thank you, Clipper. Uh, the voice, Jeff Charles, on deck. We will talk some sports with him and have a lot of East Carolina football talk on tap. For today's edition of Pirate Radio Live, we'll take a break, come back, and uh, get ready to visit with the voice, Jeff Charles, on the other side of this timeout. We'll be back with you after this. here with Carolina Caliber. In 1960, my granddaddy started his firearm business right here in Eastern NC. Still family owned and operated, we have the area's largest selection for outdoor shooting sports and accessories and are one of the nation's top firearm dealers. At Carolina Caliber, we have everything you need from hunting, home defense, and personal protection, including a wide variety for ladies and youth. We buy, sell, and trade. It's a time-honored tradition. Visit us at Carolina Caliber on Fire Tower Road in Winterville. Welcome to Us Cellular, where new and current customers choose any phone they want for free. Free? Even the one with 5G and lots of storage? Free. And the one with the latest everything? Free. At U.S. Cellular, any phone you see is free, whether you're a new or current customer. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. Terms apply. See uscellular.com for details. We all love using Uber Eats, DoorDash, and grocery pickup. It makes life so much easier. Well, now there is cellular delivery, and the team at Cellular Warehouse has perfected the process. They will deliver your new phone right to your door with all your information loaded on the new phone. And the best thing is there is no charge for this awesome service. And you don't have to waste half the day sitting in a cellular store. Call Toby Williams today at 252-799-7051 and let his team of experts make your sailor delivery today. Sailor Warehouse, your local U.S. sailor authorized agent, serving all of Eastern North Carolina. If you have family coming over this summer, the last thing you need is sweaty relatives. Guarantee your air conditioning system is ready to keep everybody cool. Call Delcor. Buy a new train system and make no payments until 2023. It's hard to stop a train. With inflation and high gas prices, you don't need another payment. So buy this month and make no payments until 2023. Go to DelcorInc.com or call 252-321-8868. Delcor, the service professionals. Be sure to check out David Price Construction for all of your commercial or custom residential renovation and building needs. Run by ECU alumni, David Price Construction specializes in commercial projects, maintenance on facilities, and large-scale residential renovations and additions. Proud to be voted the Remodeler of the Year by the Home Builders Association of Raleigh-Wake County in 2018 and Best Business Commercial Remodel Project winner for 2020. David Price Construction, the proud ECU Home Services Partner. You've worked hard to make your business successful, and that's why it's really important to always have a bank in your corner when you need them. This is former ECU baseball player Ashley Capps from First Bank, and our experienced team of local bankers includes Lee Watson, Bonner Latham, Chris Richards, Josh Hooten, and Heath Nisbet. To get the business services that are right for your business today, come and see someone on our team at First Bank on Arlington Boulevard here in Greenville. First Bank, together with our customers, we're creating a world where individuals and communities thrive. Member FDIC equal housing lender. This is John Gavigan with the Gavigan Agency. Our top priority is doing what is best for our members. Whether you are buying a new vehicle, a new home, protecting your family with life insurance, or filing a claim, our agency will be there every step of the way. Our goal is to become a trusted advisor for you and your family for all of your personal and commercial insurance needs. Give us a call in Greenville at 756-1400 for a car, home, business, or life insurance quote today. And give us the opportunity to show you the benefits of doing business with some who cares this is Isaiah Winston and you're listening to Power Radio the voice of the Power Nation Listening to Hour One of Pirate Radio Live. This hour is brought to you by Country Mart. Country Mart is open every day and has two locations in Bethel on Highway 11 and in Stokes on Highway 903. Country Mart, fueling you up with great food and your engines with great gasoline. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. Drive a little and save a lot at Washington Chrysler De- uh, Dodge Jeep Ram. Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has great selections of new and pre-owned vehicles, plus offers of service 
or offer service rather to all makes and models in a state-of-the-art facility. Drive a little and save a lot with a short trip to Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram on Highway 264 and in Washington and Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram.com. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here's Cliff. Back with you, Pirate Radio Live here on a Wednesday. Got the voice Jeff Charles joining us momentarily. There's CJ. Hey man. First of all, uh nice haircut. Looking good. I just wanted you you don't need to sit down. I just wanted to tell you the Braves are beating the Pirates 14 to nothing. That's all. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> on the Buccaneer Music Hall. That yeah, that's it. Go on about your day. That was all. Oh, that's funny. Uh, 14 to nothing, the score. Uh, Pirates do have a runner on second, so things getting interesting in Pittsburgh. On the Buccaneer Music Hall scoreboard presented by Da Buck. Da Buck. Da Bucks. <laughs> the Diamond Bucks. The uh, Pittsburgh yes, Pirates. Sir. 14 nil. Ah, oh, man. Love playing those Pirates. That's good stuff. I'm sure you enjoy playing the Nationals, too. Love playing the Nats. If we could play those teams every week, we'd be doing all right. And uh, don't look now, but right now Atlanta is two games back in the East, about to be one and a half games back. It's okay, CJ. You're not the only one here in this studio that has a terrible Major League Baseball team to cheer for. Uh, I will update you, CJ, if that score changes. So uh, just make sure he's available to come back in. I know he's about to head out to ECU practice soon. So. Yeah. All right, just wanted to pass that along. Let's uh, head out to the Pit Electric live line and talk to the voice Jeff Charles, who joins us here. Uh, week zero, as we are fired up for week one, East Carolina NC State. We'll talk about that and more. Jeff, how you doing today? Cliff, I'm doing great. I hope you are. Yes, sir. Doing well. Fired up for some football and uh, saw the voice Saturday at ECU Football Media Day, and it's great annually to, to talk to those guys jeff before they really get going with the season and you've been away for a little while so kind of your first look and first eye-to-eye -eye conversation with these guys maybe since the spring so we're going to do some media day superlatives later on with patrick mason from the daily reflector and steven Igo. so how about you jeff any uh standouts saturday that you enjoyed your conversations with well, when you say enjoy, Clip, uh, it's one of the more fun things I think I do now is have the opportunity to sit down one-on-one -on -one with the football players and, and talk with the guys before the season starts and then, of course, during the season as well. But, you know, I always go with media day thinking about the quality of the players that are in this program now. I'm talking about character and integrity and the type of guys that Coach Houston has brought into the program. And I'm very impressed with uh, the the individuals on this team and a chance to talk with them how well they handle themselves and i know of course you do that almost daily basis uh, in talking to the football players so there's some really good uh, good character guys in this program and so many of them are well spoken and you can throw questions at them and they they answer the questions very well so i always walk out of there feeling really good about the players that are in the program these days and uh, hoping that, uh, you know, that will translate onto the field in a good year this year. Jeff Charles joining us. Jeff, we'll see uh, once they take the field against NC State here in about a week and a half. But I don't know, did, did, did they pass the eyeball test? Uh, we've talked about, you know, maybe, uh, maybe uh, lacking on the offensive line over the years. It seems like they've beefed up there, got some, some big bodies uh, on the defensive side as well. How about the eyeball test? Did they pass it for you on Saturday? Yeah, I think this team is uh, is pretty good in that department, Cliff. And, again, I give Coach Houston and his staff so much credit because you and I have talked about this oftentimes, and Pirate fans who follow the program closely know this. When he got here, I mean, the cupboard was almost bare, so they've had to really recruit hard, and they, they've done that. I know I asked Coach Shankweiler, Steve Shankweiler, the offensive line coach, about that when we sat down this past Saturday, and he said, you know, when we first got here, our first priority – as we had our team meetings, was that we need to get defensive linemen. And, of course, we're going to recruit offensive linemen too, but let's make the priority defense first, and let's go out and get some quality defensive linemen, which they did. And he said in their second year then with Coach Houston, they said, let's go out now and let's make the, the priority getting offensive linemen, which they have done. And in talking with Blake Harrell, the defensive coordinator for the Pirates, and, and Blake and I talked about this a lot last year, I mean, there were games last year that there were 15, 16 defensive linemen who played in these games. And he's got a bunch of them again this year, and Coach Shankwell has got a bunch of them too. Now, what's good about that is the old uh, coaching 
the old coaching quote is, you know, iron sharpens iron. And so you've got a lot of different guys who are competing for the same spot. There's a lot of competition out there in practice, which is really, really good. Guys are fighting for playing time. So that's a good thing. In some past years, you know, you just had to almost the bare minimum and those guys were going to play. Well, it's a different story now. So I give the coaches a lot of credit. They have really, really worked hard in recruiting and they've done a good job getting the depth back into this program. Jeff Charles joining us on the uh, Pit Electric live line, and you talk about the D-line depth, Jeff. I, I talked to uh, Steve Shankweiler Saturday and asked him about those battles going on now with the, the O-line and the numbers they have in the D-line, and he said, look, we had our third-string O-line in getting some reps, and we're taking on some previous starters on the defensive front for their third string because guys have been beaten out. And and that just uh, that, that just tells you right there that it is challenging out there at practice, and it's making everybody better when you can not only add to the numbers but add to the quality of, of your team. And the Pirates have been able to do that on those lines, as you said. Yeah, no doubt about that, Cliff. Not only does it make the players better, it makes the entire program better because now you have a chance of – Unfortunately, guys do go down during the season. If you lose some guys on your front line and guys who are starters, now you've got some quality depth that the coaches like to talk about. And you've got somebody waiting in the wings who you can plug in, and hopefully you don't skip a beat. So they've come a long way with that. And Cliff, you and I have been around football a long time, and you know some things never change. You, you have to be strong on both sides of the ball up front. If, uh, if you can't block and you can't tackle on the other side, it's going to be a, a long season. So it starts up front. You look at the great teams year after year. You look at the Alabamas and the Georgias and the Ohio States of the world. And, you know, up front they're always loaded with great offensive linemen and great defensive linemen. And uh, the Pirates don't have that quality of player as those schools have. But they've got good players and they got a bunch of good players now. So, you know, let's hope that that translates on the field, like I said, and, Hopefully the Pirates can put together another winning season this year. Jeff Charles joining us on the Pit Electric Live Line. Jeff, this matchup against NC State, exciting, always exciting, but maybe the best matchup between the two teams, at least on paper, we've seen in over a decade. I was looking back, and the last two meetings have gone NC State's way in blowout fashion. The previous time before that, it was Scotty Montgomery uh, knocking off Dave Doran and the Wolfpack. And we remember that Pirate team turned out not to be very good uh, at the end of the year. Uh, previous to that, Shane Carden whooped up on NC State and Raleigh. And that NC State team was a three-win team. So you got to go back to, I believe, 2010, Jeff, when the last time these two teams met and they were good teams on the field. Damon Magazoo picking off Russell Wilson there, and, and that was a, a bowl team for ECU. Of course, 2008, both of those teams good with uh, with Russell Wilson at quarterback and uh, the East Carolina team that went on to win uh, a conference championship. So you got to go back a ways to see a, a good-on-good good matchup here, Jeff, and that gets me even more excited. You know, the, the, the it's been a, a little lopsided here of late, but should be a much better ba- uh, matchup with two good teams on the field September 3rd. I agree, Cliff, and I know North Carolina State is preseason ranked number 13. They're expecting to have a great year this year, maybe one of the best years they've ever had. And the Pirates are, are solid coming off that 7-5 and five season. So, yeah, I think it's a good matchup, and I certainly feel like the Pirates are going to be very competitive in this game and have a chance to win the game. I really believe that going into it. So, you know, it'll all play out on the field, and, and we'll be able to see as, as Mike Houston said in his uh, remarks on Saturday when you were there, Cliff, that, uh, that that one game, the first one that he coached against them, he said it was an embarrassment, and uh, that was his word, and, and it was. And so you're right, some of these games have not been close as of late, but East Carolina's program has come a long way. North Carolina State's program is very good right now, and the quarterback, Leary, is one of the premier quarterbacks, certainly in the ACC, if not – in the country this year. So he's he's going to be uh, a big challenge for ECU. We'll get more into the matchup next week. But, you know, he's a guy that doesn't throw interceptions. He's very smart. He takes care of the ball. His touchdown to interception rate last year was, was terrific. So oftentimes if you're an underdog, like the Pirates are going to be, you need to force turnovers to, to win the game. Well, this guy really doesn't turn the ball over. So that's a little bit of a concern. Again, we'll talk more about that next week. But, yeah, I, I think it's going to be a really good game. And, you know, Cliff, it's it's all about the fans, too. I mean, the fans at East Carolina and North Carolina State love this game. And th- this is the highlight for them. And, 
you know, we, we do all of this for, you know, the players and, and the fans. And so I know there are going to be a lot of people out there really enjoying the game and a chance to watch football again and watch the Pirates play NC State. So it's going to be a lot of fun on Saturday and a week from Saturday. So we're looking forward to it. No doubt, Jeff Charles joining us. Going to be a uh, rocking environment at Dowdy Ficklin Stadium, and uh, looking forward to that. Plenty of red, I'm sure, in the stands as well. Coming up a uh, week from Saturday. This Saturday, Jeff, it's week zero, and uh, the slate is not exactly packed with uh, with great games, but real college football will be on. Actually, kicking off at noon with Austin P and Western Kentucky. And then on Fox at 1230, it'll be Nebraska and Northwestern in Dublin, Ireland. Voice, uh, your travel schedule is, you know, in this conference is spread out and you, you have a lot of plane flights and things like that. How about a, a trip to Dublin, Ireland to start the season? Would you be on board for that one? Uh, I'll pass. <laughs> I have really no desire to go to Dublin, Ireland. Now, my, my son, Britt, he's an international traveler. He's been all over Europe and He's been to South America, and he really gets into that stuff. <laughs> but uh, I'd rather stay. I'd rather stay in the states. But you're right. That's uh, that's really a, a, a good uh, a good matchup. And you know, it's like all of these sports today. Not only college athletics, but we're seeing it. Uh, we're going to see it in baseball next year, as a matter of fact. And the NFL and the NBA, they're trying to promote uh, globally now with with their respective sports. So I'm not really surprised to see that and of course college football has been doing that for a number of years and Notre Dame has been over there a couple of times so you know it's one of those things but club it's just good to have uh have college football back on Saturday and I had to look at some of the schedules here's kind of a quirk in the schedule if you will I was looking at Charlotte's schedule because the Pirates will be a conference member in the AAC with Charlotte next year do you realize Charlotte the 49ers they're going to play two games before the Pirates ever play a game this year, which I thought was very interesting. They're going to have two games under their belt, so they're they're really getting a uh, an early start over in the Queen City. Yeah, got a uh, a week zero game against Florida Atlantic, which might be a pretty good game coming up. CBS Sports Network seven o'clock, and then what, Jeff? I guess they play on Thursday or Friday the following week before. Ah. Yeah, East Carolina gets underway. North Carolina uh, will begin their season eight fifteen ACC Network against the Rattlers of Florida A&M. And, uh, you know, North Carolina, Jeff, it seems like, and it happened last year with Sam Howell, they go into seasons overrated and and overhyped and and end up not living up to the hype. I would say they're flying pretty well under the radar this year. You've got Wake Forest and NC State in the top 25. A lot of people not thinking Duke uh, is going to be much in football this year. But I'm not hearing too much about Mac Brown and North Carolina. Maybe that's a good thing, Jeff, because it seems like every time they have expectations, they fail to deliver on those. Yeah, you're right. And I saw a quote this week from Mac Brown. I thought it was a little bit troubling, as a matter of fact, Cliff. He was he was talking about guys in practice, and if uh, if they're not putting out, then uh, you know they're going to be replaced. I didn't think that was you know a very positive quote to have early in the preseason here. So I kind of wonder about that, but you're right. You just go back a year ago, turn the clock back a year, and we were talking about how great North Carolina was going to be, and then it didn't happen. And this year we're talking about how great North Carolina State's going to be. So so who knows? Uh, it's always fun. Sometimes I go back and look at the preseason magazines like the next year and just see how close they are in some things. Some they are, some they're not. Phil Steele is pretty good as far as his projections are concerned, but some of the other ones are not are not very good. It's a lot of fun to read the magazines and read the polls uh, before the season starts, but you know, once the season starts, everybody's got to go out there and line up and play, so uh, we'll see how this season unfolds. Looking forward to some football coming up this weekend, following Major League Baseball as well. The Braves uh, beating up on the, the poor Pirates this week, Jeff, and just saw the Yankees knock off the Mets in two games, so Atlanta trying to uh, creep up there in the in the NL East. Also seeing the uh, Baltimore Orioles continue to win games. Good win for them last night. They they beat a White Sox team that is hovering around 500, but Dylan Cease has been really good for Chicago this year. So that was a, a nice win by the O's last night, Jeff, as they try to stay alive in that wild card race, and they're certainly in it at this point in the season. So uh, still keeping an eye on Major League Baseball. Got some good races going on here uh, down the stretch. Yeah, no doubt about it, Cliff. I keep waiting for the Orioles to fold, and they're just not folding, you know. 
it just seems like uh, almost every night they're still winning games. And, of course, they got rid of some of their key players, and they're still winning. So it says a lot about, you know, the replacements who have come in. Some of the guys who are substitutes have now stepped up and played a bigger role. So, you know, we've talked about it all summer. The Orioles are one of the real feel-good stories in Major League Baseball this year. And, Cliff, you mentioned the Yankees and Aaron Judge at number 48 last night. What do you hmm. think? You think Judge will hit 60 home runs this year? I think he's going to get there. He is at a just a tremendous pace, and every time you look, it seems like especially when they're in that ballpark, Jeff, he's he's cranking one out. So, yeah, I, I could definitely see him getting there. And uh, one of the elite power hitters in the game, another elite player in the game, Jeff, uh, has not been seen all year, and that's due to injury and due to suspension. How about the, the Fernando Tatis Jr.? ban uh, from baseball, suspension from baseball, and it's, it's just amazing to me. I, I don't know – how prevalent these performance-enhancing drugs are, are in baseball now because uh, it seems like guys are getting caught when they take them, and it's just kind of surprising whether he meant to do it or not. It's it's kind of crazy for a guy of his caliber, and really, they, you know, they're all in with Soto and all the guys they brought in. He, you know, he let his team down and everything. That was a, that was a weird story to hear uh, last week. Yeah, it was. It was a sad story to hear, too, Cliff, and you're right. Uh, the players on his team, and I've heard a number of former Major League players comment on it, and they're really disappointed when these guys do this kind of thing because the overall majority of them don't do it. Maybe back in the day when the PEDs and the steroids were more prevalent, I think a lot more guys were on it. But now there really aren't as many, I don't think, and so there's really a feeling among the teammates of these guys, that, boy, you really let us down. And uh, you owe us an apology. And uh, I think the the Major League players who played in the past, a lot of them feel that way, too. So, you know, it's a very unfortunate situation. You, you hate to see it. But, you know, people are all frail. They're human beings, and they make mistakes. Jeff Charles joining us. Voice, always great to chat with you. Glad you're uh, you're back in town. That means football is almost here, so we're getting ready for it. We'll, uh, we'll be previewing ECU NC State next Wednesday right here on the show, so looking forward to that. Have a great rest of your week, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon, Voice. Sounds great, Cliff. Thanks so much. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jeff Charles on the Pit Electric Live Line. Pit Electric, your trusted electrical partner since 1981, Eastern North Carolina's premier electrical contractor for the past 40 plus years and pit electric is hiring you can join the team today by going to pitelectric.com. all right let's take a break we'll come back when we return we'll have a bit of a rundown for you to wrap up our number one see what's going on in the world of sports today we'll have uh chandler and i watched hard knocks last night so we'll have a recap of our favorite part of the show from last night you'll be able to hear it And uh, talk about what else is going on on this Wednesday. Pirate football talk. Pretty much the final two hours of the show. We will have our flight by Yingling practice report coming up at 4 o'clock. Here's some media day interviews. Patrick Mason will talk about his media day experience. And also Stephen Igo, Hoist the Colors, will join us to continue to break down East Carolina NC State. And our final position preview of 2022. We have made it to the season. And today we'll talk special teams, which could be a key part of ECU football 2022 if they want to be, once again, a bowl team and a uh, contender in the American. We'll take a timeout, come back. More to go, hour one after this. While you're sleeping, our whole hogs are slow cooking over wood to create that bite that Eastern North Carolina is known for. I'm Sam Jones, and for more than three generations, my folks have been the torchbearers for what whole hog barbecue is supposed to be. At Sam Jones, you'll find plenty of smoke but no mirrors. Everything, and I mean everything, is made fresh daily, including our sides, sweets, and sauces. Come on over and see us at Sam Jones Barbecue, and I bet you'll be able to taste our passion in just one bite. Sam Jones Barbecue, Fire Tower Road. Hey Pirate Nation, this is Holt Nailers for my friends at ArcPoint Labs. Just as I trust my teammates, you can trust ArcPoint Labs to give you quick and accurate results for your laboratory testing needs. ArcPoint Labs provides insights and solutions to enable individuals, businesses, and communities to make informed decisions on their health, safety, and well-being. Visit any of the six Eastern North Carolina ArcPoint Labs locations or go to arcpointlabs.com. Go Pirates! 
Are you suffering from anxiety, sleep issues, or chronic pain? Have you heard of CBD? You can learn about the benefits of CBD right here in Greenville at the Hemp Garden. Hemp Garden offers a variety of products and solutions that are truly making a difference in our community. Hemp Garden also provides products that can assist with energy and focus. Have a pet? Come check out their selection of CBD pet products. Visit Hemp Garden to speak with a CBD specialist in a relaxed and welcoming environment today. Exclusive discounts are offered to first-time customers. Hemp Garden, located at 3040 South Evans Street in the Target Shop. Shopping Center in Greenville. I can't think of anyone who doesn't love a clean car, but how often do you actually go to the car wash? Does it take too long, or maybe it's just not a very nice place? Tommy's Express changes everything. Our wash is bright, inviting, clean, and fast. I love the flat conveyor belt. So easy to pull onto, much smoother ride, and safer for my car. And when you join Tommy Club, you can wash as often as you like for one low monthly price. I save money and time. We're Tommy's Express. At the corner of Greenville Boulevard and Red Banks Road, Greenville. Ahoy there, mateys! It's Captain Jack Spare of R&R Tire Express, your local tire and wheel shop in Greenville, offering affordable, easy payment options for easy ownership, savvy? Our customers love our treasure of tires and wheels, easy payment options, and customer care package, too. To learn more about R&R, stop by 3920 US 264 or rnrtires.com. the best burgers around everyone loves a thick juicy and fresh burger tiebreakers in greenville plus the all-new tiebreakers in winterville do real burgers better than anybody so don't just go to any burger themed restaurant chain it's time to break the chain and eat local tiebreakers real burgers at its best everybody loves burgers Hello, Pirate Nation. This is Kyle Gaines at Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. We are growing. So is our service department. We're adding more space to provide a faster, more affordable service for you. Come sit down with our team and let us customize your next Jeep or truck. Have the freedom to pick out your own lift, wheels, and tires, and more. Drive a little, save a lot when it comes to customizing your next vehicle. We're at Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, located off 264 West in Washington, North Carolina. And online at WashingtonChryslerDodgeJeepRam.com. At Jimmy John's, we don't make sandwiches. We make the sandwich of sandwiches. We use fresh veggies because we don't hate salads. We just feel bad for them. We make our sandwiches exactly how you want because you're the one who's eating it. And we bake bread all day, every day, because stale bread isn't bread. It's croutons. Sandwich history is written by the victors. Good thing we have legible handwriting. Jimmy John's, the sandwich of sandwiches. Order pickup or delivery on the app. What's up? This is Bryson World, and you're listening to Pirate Radio, the voice of the Pirate Nation. You're listening to Hour One of Pirate Radio Live. This hour is brought to you by Country Mart. Country Mart is open every day and has two locations, in Bethel on Highway 11 and in Stokes on Highway 903. Country Mart, fueling you up with great food and your engines with great gasoline. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. The best place in Greenville to unwind after work and have fun is AJ McMurphy's. AJ's has daily food and drink specials and an awesome patio, perfect for some outdoor dining. There's something for everyone every weeknight, including sports trivia with our very own Clip Rock. AJ's has live music every Friday and Saturday with no cover and brunch every Sunday. Make today an AJ's day. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here's Clip. All right. Thanks, Shirley. Looking forward to some fun trivia tonight. I tell you what, round two. I tell you what. I made all college football questions in honor of week zero for college football. It's and nothing but college football questions? In round two. And the majority of tonight's game, I would say, is football. Let's go. Because tis the season. Tis the season to be jolly. La, 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 la. I have an update in uh, Pittsburgh. Should you think CJ will answer his phone? Try, unless he's in the meeting room. What meeting room? Oh, th- never mind. He's off to cover football pride to take some pictures, some vids, and then get interviews later. But I don't know if he's there yet. Or he could be listening and dodging this call. Shall I leave him a voicemail? Just leave him a voicemail if he doesn't answer. Yeah. 
You know, it's not nice to duck calls during a work day. What if this is an emergency? This is kind of an emergency. Two, five, two. Uh, I shouldn't put his number out there, I guess. All right, well, I'll try to contact him later. Braves lead the Pirates 14-1. to one. Pirates have two runners on in the bottom of the ninth inning. Other scores, Tigers lead the Giants 6-1 to one in the eighth, and the Rangers have a 2 nothing lead over Colorado. In the second inning, uh, Miami and Oakland scoreless just getting underway on the Buccaneer Music Hall scoreboard presented by Dub Buck. Dub Buck. Thanks, Shirley. O's are on uh, FS1 tonight, so you might can actually watch them on your telly. Now, if they're on national TV, yeah, you can see them if they're on national TV, I believe. Yeah, like if, if the game was like on ESPN or something, you could probably still see it. Because they were on the other night with that uh, game in Williamsport. It was like yes. the Orioles' first uh, primetime game. In a very uh, long TV. time. Yeah, in a long, long time. Uh, but that was a good win last night over Dylan Cease and the White Sox. They play again tonight. You can check it out right here on Pirate Radio. Also, 6 o'clock today after our show, part two of our Players Lounge. We have the Delcor Players Lounge on Monday. If you missed those interviews with the players, you can check them out coming up at 6 o'clock tonight. Uh, last night, Hard Knocks night, and uh, been into it. I've enjoyed it this season so far. I feel like uh might have got a little stale, but for whatever reason, I like the characters. Uh, I like Dan Campbell. I, I like, and I used to watch Deuce Staley, Aaron Glenn, when they played. Now they're coaches on this team. Um, so it's it's been fun. I, I tell you, they haven't seen much of Jared Goff. Haven't seen much of DeAndre Swift. Like, they don't really have stars, I guess. Aiden Hutchinson might be their biggest name, and he was just drafted. So there's a lot of him. But uh, it's mostly Dan Campbell. But last night, we had a a lot of it has been junk talk between the coordinators or the coaches, Aaron Glenn on defense and Deuce Staley on offense. It's been a lot of Deuce Staley. I think he's come off pretty good on this thing. But last night, and a lot of coaches will be going through this uh, this season and probably this time of year, (laughs) he uh, unfortunately lost his voice out there during practice. I just and to, I actually just talked to one of my clients, Tandy Wilson, with Christy Sidebar, Dap House. She's actually lost her voice, so I just talked oh, to her, her and I told her I said we're about to play this clip of a coach from Hard Knocks that has lost his voice too. So it was funny talking to her about that. It was pretty hilarious to see because he still has the mannerisms of a man who is angry and screaming, but it sounds like he's whispering. So he's in all these running backs' faces, finger pointing in their face i mean dog cussing them but he sounds like a cartoon character he sounds like a a angry lady screaming on the phone he sounds like an angry librarian (laughs) and uh so shirley let's hit that this is deuce staley had to beep out quite a bit hope i got all the f-bombs uh but here we go deuce staley from last night's hard knocks what the that's not what the we're talking about that's not what the we're about so you better pick this up. I'm telling you right now. You better pick this up, especially when you get tired. Stop feeling sorry for yourselves. That's the game. You gotta play when you're tired. You gotta play when you hurt. Coming back with your eyes all big like you're confused. No that. Go to the next play. Not good enough. How do you take him serious when he's talking like that? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> he's doing a screaming whisper in the pitch of a uh, 90 year old woman and he was talking to jamal williams one of the running backs for the lines yesterday all seriousness and jamal williams did a better job than i would have because he was like yeah I, and it was funny because he was saying he responded yeah i hear you coach i hear you where maybe he could not hear him he because literally he couldn't is hear him. literally whispering kind of sound like Mickey Mouse as a running backs coach <laughs> for the Lions. It sounded like a cartoon. It sounded like a cartoon character as a running backs coach for the Detroit Lions. Can you hear it again, Shirley? Please. We can talk over it, but I just love the intensity and the voice that comes out. What the f***? What the f***? That's not what the f*** we talk about. That's not what the f*** we about. So you better pick this up. It does right sound now. like Mickey you Mouse. You better pick this up, especially when you get tired. Stop feeling sorry for the he sounds like a, a kid that's going through puberty and his voice is just crackling all over the place. Mom! Coming back with your eyes all big like you confused. No that. Go to the next play. Go to the next play. Why won't you let me go over to Daddy's house? I did my chores. Mom! Oh, I did it. 
I do it, Sean. So, Deuce Staley. That's, uh, and that doesn't surprise me with Coach Staley because he is constantly yelling. He is constantly getting on these players. He's constantly talking junk to the defensive coordinator. Yeah. Aaron Glenn, I believe his name is. Yeah. Like he, I mean, he has been the most, uh, I guess, the most la- the loudest coach in hard knocks. You're so probably far. too young to remember him playing, aren't you? I remember him with the Steelers late he, oh, okay. when he won a Super Bowl with them. He was. Uh, but that was like late in his career, right? I didn't even know he was. Yeah, he was. So he was Steelers 04 to 06. I remember yeah. him as an Eagle. And uh, yeah, he was a good player. South Carolina. And uh, did win a Super Bowl. There's a great trivia question, Chandler, that I don't think I would have got. Who did Deuce Staley win a Super Bowl with? The Steelers. Very good. You're ready for tonight. He was alongside a Clinton native Willie Parker. Fast, Fast Willie, Willie, who had an 85. Five yard touchdown in that game? 75. 75. Uh, and I believe to this day it is the longest Super Bowl touchdown run in history. Are you a Steelers fan? Or the person that sits in that chair automatically knows Steelers history? Yeah. Is that how that works? Or it just, it's rubbed off on me. Would you happen to be a Pirates fan? Because I got an update. <laughs> oh, I'm a big Pirates fan. I'm a uh, big Diamond Bucks fan, but it's ECU baseball, not we, Pittsburgh Pirates. We have gone final in Pittsburgh. Braves 14, Pirates 2. Oh, man. I was hoping you were going to say none. None. Zero. zero. Zilch. I have been uh, enjoying the hard knocks, though. How about yourself? It was great to watch it on the night that it actually comes out last night. I said this to you uh, earlier today, too, and I think you agreed that. So I, I said yesterday I haven't been watching a lot of preseason. I honestly didn't – I thought the Lions had lost week two in preseason for some reason. So as I'm watching Hard Knocks and we've got this great video and drama and the music's building up and it's a tight game down the stretch, I thought they had lost the game, but no spoilers. I didn't look it up. I didn't know what happened, and turns out they won and kind of was a cool moment. When they started highlighting the game with the Colts, which, I mean, they showed the pre uh, – they actually had a joint practice with the Colts, which was very – if you want to go watch it, it, it was uh, a lot of ch- uh, chirpiness, uh, a lot of fights going on between uh, especially Jamal Williams and the linebacker for the Colts. Jamal well, Williams was, like, way over the top. Yes. That was way too much. Yeah. But I also think that the Colts linebacker was way off, over the top, too. Because uh, did you see on Twitter? They went on. They, they, they took it to Twitter. <laughs> no. Nah. The, the, the Colts linebacker was talking crap on Twitter, and maybe one of those three reps, he got the best of Jamal Williams. But Jamal Williams got him on a block, yeah. and then he held on that last one. But anyway, but when they started highlighting the game with the Colts and the Lions, I was like, oh, crap. Like, I'm, I actually don't know the outcome of this game. So it was interest, interesting watching the documentation of that game. And I actually, at the beginning, I was like, like on the edge of my seat because I didn't know, all right, will, will uh, Dan Campbell and the Lions get their first preseason, preseason win? Clip, they mentioned this last night. It is the first preseason win for the Lions. They had an eight-game losing streak in preseason. So that was their first win in, eight, uh, what, nine games? I meant to throw this out there tonight on Sports Trivia. I forgot to make it a question, but I, I think a lot of people know it by now. Do you know what team, I think it's at 22 now, what team has won 22 straight preseason games? Uh, I mean, I want... I, they never lose. Uh, the Patriots. No, the Ravens. Never lose a preseason game. The Ravens. 22 I'm straight. I'm stupid for saying the Patriots because the Patriots actually are notorious for being terrible in the preseason. Um, so the the Ravens have won 22 straight preseason games. Wow. Impressive. Uh, Steve Hill has a question for you. What's up? Would you like to answer it? It depends on the question. Who has the most rushing yards in a single Super Bowl? Most rushing yards? Yeah. In a single Super Bowl? Guy you've never heard of before. In your life. Was he a former Redskin? Yeah. Riggins? He was a big one-hit wonder. Timmy Smith. Okay. Big one-hit wonder in Super Bowls. Some NFL news and notes. Uh, Lynn Dawson passed away, the uh, former. And it's crazy. I, just a couple of weeks ago, it was brought up. I, I said, I think I asked the question, who the iconic picture of the quarterback yeah. smoking a cigarette at halftime, come to find out, It was Lynn Dawson. We found out today that he has passed away. He has uh, died at the age of 87. Uh, Shaquem Griffin announced his retirement from the NFL. Only four years in. Former Knight. Formerly of, uh, yeah, UCF. Saw him here in Greenville. Shirley mentioned yesterday that the punter for the Colts uh, was likely out for the season. Rigoberto Sanchez. 
And there's a lot of athletes, pro athletes. I would just say 99.9% of them I can't relate to. But I can relate to this. Did you see how he hurt himself? Mm-mm. He uh, he has a torn Achilles, and he suffered that doing sprints, just running. Which I feel like if That's I brutal if I went to NFL training camp, it wouldn't be a play. I wouldn't get hurt on a play or a cut because I couldn't even cut. I would get hurt, you know, in warm ups. Maybe stretching. Maybe stretching. <laughs> Doing simple arm circles. <laughs> but maybe, your, your rotator cuff, like, literally just tears apart. Yeah. But, hey, what's wrong with Brock over there? He's like in excruciating pain. Oh, yeah. Those uh, those arm circles really got him. He tried to uh, to touch his toes and uh, strained his back. He's out for the year. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. So, doing wind that sprints. Stinks. That really stinks. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so, there's uh, a few NFL. Well, news, at least he so wasn't true. like... Um, somebody in the past maybe i want i want to say it was in the past like year or two somebody was playing with a kid and tore their acl or tore something that happens uh, in baseball every single day playing with their kid at home s- stepped on a toy yeah. you know, twisted their ankle who was the guy i want to say it was before trevor story clint barmas maybe because rome used to talk about the stupid baseball injuries all the time i think it was clint barmas and he heard him he was carrying for like deer meat from his freezer it, it was there was the story about deer meat and he like dropped the deer meat and tore his acl or something and uh rome would talk about that non-stop uh so coming up chandler i want you to think about we're going to do this with p mace patrick mason and also si steven igo si sti uh we're going to do our media day superlatives steven so, igloo steven igloo steven we're, igloo we're going to do uh Best interview, most intense, coolest guy. Okay. Uh, so we're going to do some of that with Patrick. So start to think of some of those uh, yourself. And I think well, I've got my answers already in my head. Well, I actually hear some uh, interviews uh, in hour number two when we return on our flight by Yingling ECU practice report. Chandler, what? Uh, so we've heard Blake Harrell, Tim Dallas. Chandler handled the defensive side, special teams. I did the offense. What interview would you like to hear first uh, that you conducted? Because I haven't heard all these. So, which one? Uh, you like Emmanuel Hickman, right? I did. I really like. Should him. we lead off with Manny? Let's Hickman? do it because uh, Emmanuel Hickman had a lot of doubt in himself. He said, "I've never done this." He's an experienced guy on this defensive line. He said, "I don't get." Um, I, he said, "I don't I get a lot of these interviews." And he said, "I'm sorry if I'm bad." And at the end of the day, I was like, "Dude." You were great. So let's lead off with Emmanuel Hickman. We'll start on the D-line when we return and hear from Emmanuel Hickman and Elijah Morris and have a lot more for you, player-wise, on Pirate Radio Live here on a Wednesday. We are back with more after this. When it comes to hauling dirt, asphalt, or stone, you can trust the pros at First and Goal Hauling Incorporated. They have a fleet of dump trucks ready to get the job done. And best of all, it's owned and operated by ECU football alum, Dakota Marshall. When you have a big job and you need it done right, count on first and goal hauling, where it's a touchdown every time. Keep up with Dakota Marshall and first and goal hauling by following them on Facebook today. Where can you go where the beer is cold? Friendship is forever. Is the place that's in our hearts we can be together. Blue Ribbon, this is the place. Hey, Pirate fans, get stocked up for tailgating season with PBR at your favorite retailer. Look for the QR code on the PBR display and register for a chance to win a PBR cooler full of beer. Game day or any day, all Pirates prefer PBR. Country Mart has been locally owned and operated for over 40 years and is your premier country store serving the best cheese biscuits and country food around. Country Mart is open every day and has two locations in Bethel on Highway 11 and in Stokes on Highway 903. Both Country Mart locations are top-of-the-line fuel stations serving shell gas, including 93 ethanol-free high-octane gas, which is the best for all you boat owners. Country Mart, fueling you up with great food in your engines with great gas Go Pirates! So, how do show points work? Well, at Jersey Mike's, six regular number 13s plus three giant number 7s equals a free regular number 13s. 
So Pepsi and Lay's now earn more points towards free subs. That adds up. Exactly. Download the Jersey Mike's app and earn rewards towards free subs with every sub, Pepsi, and Lay's you purchase. So how does show points work? Well, at Jersey Mike's, six regular number 13s plus three giant number 7s equals a free regular number 13. So Pepsi and Lay's now earn more points towards free subs. That adds up. Exactly. Download the Jersey Mike's app and earn rewards towards free subs with every sub, Pepsi, and Lay's you purchase. Last year, we found out that I had cancer. We were all super scared. Mom and Dad said they don't know what we would have done. Fry's Army hadn't been there for us. We invite you to join us on Saturday, August 27th at the Hilton Greenville for the Glow for Gold Gala, benefiting Riley's Army, presented by Grover Gaming. Tickets can be found at Riley'sArmy.com or by calling 252-481-4471. Riley's Army hopes that you never need them. But if you do, they'll be there for your family, just like they were for mine. At Parker's Barbecue, our family has been serving your family for three generations. For that, we say thank you. Blessing families every Thursday. Kids eat free all day. That's the Parker's way. Legendary food served from our three locations. Always quick, always delicious. That's the Parker's way. At Parker's, our mission is to impact our customers through Christ-like service in a way that feeds them both physically and spiritually. That is the Parker's way. Before you hit the road this travel season, be sure to get your tires inspected by the Tire Guys at Greenville Auto World. The Greenville Auto World service team sells all the top brands and economy tires if you need a new set. Need an oil change, state inspection, or AC repair? Greenville Auto World can work on any type of vehicle, and the monthly oil change special is only $29.99. Make an appointment now by calling 364-8730. For award-winning service, trust Greenville Auto World. For the latest from the world of golf, tune in every Saturday morning from 8 to 10 for the Golf Shop Radio Show, presented by PlayGolfMyrtleBeach.com, the golf capital of the world. Hosts Mark Greenhelch and Matt Blanchard talk golf from tee to green and everything in between. If you like golf, you're going to love Golf Shop Radio. Before you tee up, drop on in. Welcome to the Golf Shop. This is Pirate Radio, WGHB Farmville, 1250 at 92.7 FM Greenville, WDLX Washington, 930 at 104.1 FM Washington. You're listening to Hour 2 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour brought to you by Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Drive a little and save a lot with a short trip to Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram on Highway 264 in Washington at WashingtonChryslerDodgeJeepRam.com. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. Town Insurance is your premier independent insurance agency. From maximizing opportunities to minimizing risk, Town's insurance advisors offer expert professional advice to clients of all sizes. For personal or business insurance questions, call 756-8300 today. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here is Cliff Rock. Back with you, Pirate Radio Live on a Wednesday, Thursday, 10 a.m. UBE. Limited edition of uh, limited availability of this shirt I'm holding up right now. Our state with the cool graphic on the back. Uh, you have to go to UBE to get these, purchase two tickets and uh, to our party, which is coming up next Thursday, and you'll get a free T-shirt. So two party tickets will earn you a free shirt, uh, 10 a.m., only time we're doing this. So if you want one, you got to be at UBE, 10 a.m., UBE, Thursday. Troy D. LRB, the crew, will be there. And, uh, and get your tickets for the party next Thursday. I get all that? I leave anything out? We good to go? I think it's uh i think you covered it man um how you do uh, what do you uh what are you, uh, what are you doing about a uh, outfit for the party you doing anything different nah I, I think i've got like a southern tide ecu purple checkered uh long sleeve button up that, I'm going to. <laughs> that is the longest description of a shirt yeah so I'm gonna wear that. i think i'm gonna wear that khaki shorts yeah you know what i might slap on some loafers Slap some loafs? Are you loaf slapping? I'm loafing it. I'm I'm loafing it next Thursday. Dang, Whether man. you like it or not, I'm loafing it. I had uh, no idea it was loaf slap season. By the way, I believe those loafers because I'm not gonna go buy any new ones. I think like the the toes of them might be exposed. 
So there's a little treat for you guys. Exposed toes? Uh, not fully exposed toes, but like you can tell that it's kind of ripped at the toes. But um, yeah, who cares? It's uh, I'm going to be cutting a rug at the Pirate Radio kickoff party, which is next Thursday, folks. Get your tickets. Justin said, "Snow the front of it," so I will snow, snow it the to f- you. Snow it is the front. a uh, cool Pirate Radio logo on the front. So there you snow. Uh, all right. So maybe some toe action, and then that long description of a shirt. I I had some ideas. I had bright ideas in mind, but I uh, never really put them into fruition. So yeah, I'll probably just wear a black polo. Seems to be my speed. Shirley, are you wearing a ball gown? <laughs> <laughs> Let me think about that. Mm, no. Charlie, you should wear a pantsuit. No. <laughs> Too I hot. will if you will. Too hot. <laughs> However. However. If I can find the right retro t-shirt, because you know I'm a t-shirt girl. If I can find the right retro t-shirt, I may rock a retro. Whoa. Um, retro t-shirt. I saw a lot of cool uh, ones of those when I was looking for some stuff. Uh, MTV, Nintendo, like, and then there's a lot of '80s looking shirts out there. So, yeah, I may I may rock one of those, but uh, for and it would have to be the perfect shirt. Like, I would have to, you know, it'd have to be really really cool. But I think other than that, that's about all you're going to get me. You know me. I'm not a dress dress up kind of person anyway. I mean, the the most you'll ever see me dress up is a pair of khaki pants and a polo shirt. And that's about as dressed up as I usually get. So do we have we have uh, like a red carpet? We're going to be taking pictures like we're going to have Joan Rivers. Is Joan Rivers still with us? No, she's gone. His daughter, her daughter is. We're going to have the uh, ghost of Joan Rivers there and Melissa Rivers on the uh red carpet i don't know joan rivers was pretty brutal when it came to fashion she she would tell it like it is wouldn't you love like to it. hear her tell troy about his party shirt that he no yeah. that i would give anything for i would pay uh, good money for that that would be good i just wouldn't want joan rivers to critique my whatever <laughs> shirt i'm gonna wear yeah i'm with you uh, let's get to the flight by yingling practice report the next generation of light beer don't just raise a glass raise the bar flight by yingling available wherever beer is sold and uh our practice report today well we're out there right now we being pirate radio the crew uh jenny cj and glenn uh, getting some pictures video and then later today they will talk to mike houston donnie kirkpatrick and blake harrell so be on the lookout tonight for the uh the new audio video of those conversations which will be available on our social media accounts twitter facebook and on youtube and we'll have the audio version for you coming up thursday right here but that's uh at six o'clock when we wrap up this show uh those coaches will be talking but good news we do have some audio we have not played yet and that is from media day 2022 which was saturday at the town bank tower and uh chandler handled the defense and special teams interviews and uh let's hear from emmanuel hickman east carolina D lineman expecting a lot from him and the D line this year. Let's hear that conversation. All right, we're here with Emmanuel Hickman. Uh, Emmanuel, talk about the competitive factor of camp and how important that is going up into September 3rd. The competitive nature that we have on this team is amazing. We make each other better every single day that we go out on the field. Um, a lot of us, we come together before practice or whether it be during practice to just talk about games, about uh, schemes and different things that we all get to think about. It's like the other day I was talking about uh, Deontay Johnson and Elijah Morris. It's a blessing just to be able to be playing amongst guys who are so football smart. You know, their IQs is amazing. So it gives us that competitive edge to go out to be able to compete at a high level because we know certain blocking schemes. We know different type of reads and things like that. So um, the competitive edge that we have on that field and the nature that we just we get to go out there, man, we just we give it our all. Because it was a time where we weren't that good competitively, but now you can't miss a snap. You're an experienced guy. You're a veteran. How comfortable are you in this off season in this fall camp going up into September third from years past? It's it's almost surreal at the level of comfortability that I'm at. Um, I have to for sure give just my honor and glory to God just to be able to to be able to pray 
and be able to just settle in into everything he's made me to be. And um, just being around the guys all the time, you know, they're very um, inspirational. Like we have a, a core value, inspirational work ethic. Um, so that gives me that extra boost to be able to say, like, the person that's next to me is going through the same things, and they put just as much as time and work into it that I do. So just being able to be prepared, like, preparation is everything. So, you know, the prior years up until now, um, this, the, the level that I'm at is just amazing. Like, I can sit down. The game is slower. It's not, I'm not so edgy. I'm not so intense to go in and be able to say, okay, I'm not going to mess up. So now I, just, it's just, I can just flow and play. I, I talked to Coach Steve Ellis. Then I talked to Coach Tripp Weaver. I talked about that sharp mentality. For some reason, I thought it was just a secondary thing. Yeah. Coach, Coach Weaver said, no, nah, that's a whole defensive thing. Yeah. So talk about that mentality. Talk about how important that message is to you guys. <laughs> the sharp mentality is just uh, we learn the value of a shark has to go and hunt in order to survive. And if you're if you're in this game and you're not looking to go and hunt, you can be the hunty, you can be the prey. So our instincts are just dog eat dog. We gotta go out there, we gotta do our thing. So shark mentality is you're gonna get bit playing with us and we're gonna make we're gonna make sure you feel it in any way that you, you come at us. All right, Emmanuel Hickman. I appreciate, appreciate it man. It. Chandler, an honorary shark after talking to all those defensive players and coaches. And uh, you're right, Chandler, for a guy that was nervous about talking, uh, he was a good talker. So shout out to uh, Emmanuel Hickman there. Yeah, absolutely. He was a great interview and uh, kind of because that makes me nervous. I, I don't do it. I'm like him. I told him I, to make him feel comfortable. I was like, well, I don't conduct a lot of interviews. So we're kind of in the same boat. And um, he was like, okay. So, and then he said, do we just become best friends? I said, dude, do we just become best friends? And he's like, yeah, man. <laughs> Dapped him up and left. <laughs> and uh, But, Good no, great, great interview with him. Great talking to a lot of these defensive guys about that sharp mentality because it is preached. Uh, and, like I said, I thought it was just a secondary thing, but it is preached up and down the defensive lineup. And you could tell – with the aggressiveness of this defense. And I even talked to Blake Carroll about the aggressiveness of his defense as well. So, uh, back, Before we hear more questions from Chandler, there is a question to Chandler, and uh, it is a personal question. Are you fielding personal questions today? Why not? Okay. Jackson says, how many, and I'm going to use the Bryce Williams term that he used yesterday, how many cold snacks is Chandler going to work on next Thursday? Oh, um, to – there's going to be a lot. Uh, as Bryce Williams would say, Hogan's goat will be loose. I was going to say. And uh, I will be searching for Hogan's goat. Well, I was going to do a very conservative number over under seven and a half. Way, under, yeah, way over. Dude, that's probably a lock of the century. Nine and a over. half. Now, now you're getting kind of close. No, yeah, I would still go over. Yeah. I so would still go over. A good line would be ten, ten and, and a half. half. That would be good because I can get to twelve. Y'all are crazy. I can I can I can get to twelve. E I wouldn't say easily, but I can get to twelve. I mean, you're talking about a party from seven to ten. After party at Dirty Dance. At uh, don't pretend like your first one is going to be at seven. You're going to pregame. Well, that's true. Yeah. So we're talking. Yeah. Ten and a half. Take the under. Take the over. Do whatever. But hey, have confidence in me. Take the over. I'm going at least eleven beers deep. Cold snacks. There you go, Jackson. Cold snacks. Um, here's a here's a question to Jackson from me. Will you be at the party drinking cold snacks with me? All right, and Jackson. Can you go toe to toe with me? He answered your question with a question. Going back to Jackson. Anybody? Let's move on. All right. I just saw something that made me very angry. Uh oh. R uh, rage room is tomorrow. If we need to, we can open it up today. Nah, but just something I raged about last week. Uh, Tim Healy. Tim Healy writes for, uh, he's a Mets beat writer, Newsday. Timmy Trumpet, who does the trumpets in Edwin Diaz's entrance song, oh. Narco, will be at City Field on Tuesday. So next Tuesday. He'll throw out the first pitch, and if Diaz pitches, Timmy Trumpets will play the song live. <laughs> Jeez Louise, man. Wow. I, I, that has to be the top. That has to be like like this has made you mad already. But this has to be the peak. <laughs> this has to be the peak. They've got the guy that plays the song. They've got him going to the game and they're saying 
if Edwin Diaz steps foot on the mound to pitch, yeah. as Edwin Diaz trots to the mound, this guy is going to put on a live concert for City Field and the fans there. That has got to be the peak yeah. of frustration for Clip Rock in this situation Just surrounding it. Out of control. Completely out of wow. control. I will say I do like... Um, well, they need to have him there at, at Truist or whatever. That's the right. Point. When uh, Contreras comes up to bat. Because that's his song, that needs too. To be his, and, I, and he needs to be live in the uh, ninth inning at Clark LeClaire Stadium when we play the song. It's not Edwin Diaz's song. It's just not, okay? It's that guy's song. It's He's going to go song. to City Field and play it live. And you know they're going to get Edwin Diaz on the mound for that game at some point if they're going to bring this guy in for the game. Mm, well, you say that, but you know who don't give two S's or F's or bleeps or, about or it? Rat, rat, rat bleeps? Yeah, rat bleeps. Uh, Buck Showalter. You think he cares about Trumpet Man? No, he don't care about Trumpet Man. I'm sure. Trumpet, Trumpet Man! Man. Man, 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 man. Well done. All right, you've had your situation in <laughs> with the uh, last part. We just uh, kind of topped that right there. All right. Thank you, toppers. Uh, let's stick with the D-line, Shirley, and hear from Elijah Morris. How about a walk-on to a scholarship guy to a guy you really count on in the middle of that ECU D-line? Let's hear from Elijah. All right, we're here with Elijah Morris. Uh, Elijah, you're an experienced guy. You're a veteran guy. You're an old guy here now. Talk about how camp is going so far. Uh, camp's been great. A lot of people, you know, when they hear camp, they feel uh, you're here every day. I mean, but it's part of the grind. And, you know, everybody says grind, but, you know, you really got to gotta take camp on with a positive attitude and use it as a chance to help the young guys learn the plays and mold yourself, get ready for the season, sharpen, sharpen your uh, – Tools. Yeah, we just talked to Coach Houston. We talked to some of your defensive coaches a while ago, talking about the competitiveness of camp. Talk about how you uh, day in, day out, going against these uh, offensive linemen each and every day and uh, the importance of competing against those guys. Yeah, it's, it's really important. You know, uh, during camp, we competed a lot. Uh, we both made each other better. You know, it was always attacking each day. Iron sharpens iron, as the old saying goes. Talk about your roots. You're a Terry Sanford guy. I'm not too far from Fayetteville, so I know where Terry Sanford is. Talk about talk about your roots a little bit and where you come from. Uh, from Terry Sanford High School, you know, uh, most people know Fayetteville for Fort Bragg yeah. in the military, but, you know, uh, it's not better. I'm always a Bulldog. Once a Bulldog, always a Bulldog. You know, I always go back, make sure, talk to old friends, coaches. I still work out on the practice field when I go home during break, so, Always close to home. You wrap up fall camp. Now it's time to get ready for NC State. How ready are you and your teammate, teammates well, ready for September 3rd? Well, I'm excited. You know, I can't wait. You know, we've been smashing each other's face in for the past <laughs> three weeks. So, yeah. you know, we really want to see a different color. All right, there you go. That is uh, Elijah Morris joining Chan Man. Chandler, uh, I don't know if you're doing this on purpose, but when you go to no, your – I tell you the, I tell you the I'm situation. not talking about what you think I'm talking about right now. All right, go ahead. I'm not going to say that you need to stop talking, say, and talk about. I'm not going to say that on there. You're going to say a little bit. I'm not going to say that. Oh. I'm going to say, Shirley, play the beginning of that one. I heard it, too, in the other one, but play the very beginning of Elijah Morris again. All right, we're here with Elijah Morris. Uh, Elijah, you're an experienced guy. You're there. a veteran guy. You're well, you know guy what it sounded now. like? You can cut it, Shirley. It sounded like, all right, we're here down at the Case IH Red Zone. Are you doing a Gary Hahn when you talk to these guys? I don't. I don't think so. <laughs> I think you're just coming in strong, and it sounds a little Gary Hahn. Play it to me. one more time. And, hey. All right, we're here with Elijah Morris. So. <laughs> oh my God! All right, now can you do the beginning of Emmanuel Hickman? Yeah, play the think... beginning of Emmanuel Hickman. All right, we're here with Emmanuel Hickman. Uh... <laughs> Wait, you're no doing, way! You're doing a Gary Hahn. Oh my God! All right, we're here with Manny Hickman. Let's go down, Tony. Tony, do, do Luke Larson. All right, here with Luke Larson. Well, uh, it really. So when you said Elijah Morris, you sounded kind of country. Morris. And when you said Luke Larson, you sounded country. I think it's when you're not sounding country and you're coming in strong, you do have a Gary Hahn going. Hmm. Wow. Let's go down to Elijah Morris, Elijah. So it's just something I picked up on. Maybe that's your announcer voice. Maybe, I guess. Could be. Oh, that's not a bad announcer voice to have. No. I, I look up to Gary Hahn. 
It's uh, yeah, it's a good one to have. You sounded good. Ah, uh, but yeah, you do need to stop saying talk about so much. I started to say a little bit too. For sure, in terms of. And I think that is just the curse and the karma of trying to mock Mark Lindsay. OML. He's got a voodoo doll at home, and uh, <laughs> he has he has voodooed your mouth and made you uh, say those things. <laughs> That's not good at all. This man is at home voodoo in your mouth. How do you feel about that? <laughs> oh, man, in terms of what? In terms of voodooing. <laughs> all right, uh, Shirley, let's hear. You want to go, uh, you want more defense or offense, Chandler? You make the call. We just went back-to-back -back defense. You want to go specialist? Have we gone specialist yet? Let's do it. Who you want to hear from? Let's hear from the Aussie, Luke Larson. All right, let's do it. All right, here with Luke Larson, uh, third year in the program. Talk about this camp and uh, what you're trying to improve on from the punting standpoint. Yeah, so this camp felt different. It was more just keeping the standards as high as possible and trying to always be consistent. Uh, I had issues last season with mentally not zoning in when I needed to and, and just taking for granted that you know if you can take it that way. So this year was just about appreciating every snap and making sure I made it count for myself. John Young, gone from the program, you are the guy ready to take over those punting, punting uh, duties solely. Does that change your mentality at all or is it had to kind of stay the same? No, my mentality at the start of last season was the same as now. I, I wanted to start, I wanted to be the guy. You know, it turns out that yeah, splitting reps wouldn't have been a good avenue last year and it allowed John to perform at his best and you know, now I, I'm going to try and raise those standards. You had a freshman last year. I'm a former long snapper, so I love talking about this position. You lose a guy in Slate Roy, true freshman, started every game. But you get two guys in the transfer portal and Alex Harper and Colby Garfield. Talk about some of those guys, or talk about both of those guys and how you guys are meshing right now from a long snapper and to a punter standpoint. It just comes down to they're great guys. Mm -hmm. like Alex is actually one of my roommates. Colby is a roommate of Owen Gaffers. So they're just guys that have seamlessly transitioned in here. It's, there's no... They're competing for a position. There's no ill feeling between each other. They're just here to perform and, and do their job, and that's that's appreciated from the rest of us. So that that's helpful. How's your hang time looking? Uh, trying to get some five O's. Well, uh, there you go. There <laughs> yeah. you go. For those that don't know, hang time is what the time as soon as it leaves your foot. Leave your foot till it's either caught or lands. So uh, what do you do to try to improve that? I mean, what, what's the highest you've gone here on well, hang time? Before I got here, I was consistently kicking five to five four yeah. balls yeah. every ball. <laughs> Uh, and then I got here, we had the COVID, you know, uh, debacle, if you can put it that way. And I put on 25 pounds and didn't look after my body. The difference in diet over here compared to back home. And I, I set myself back and I've spent a good amount of time just getting my flexibility back, being able to hit the ball as cleanly as what I was before I was getting here. So it's not really improving, it's just getting back to a level of consistency. First year we saw you, we, uh, we saw your speed. We saw you uh, on that fake punt against SMU. Have you increased your speed? Are we going to see some more of that this year? Uh, well, I weigh 25 pounds lighter than what I did that day, so I, I hope that correlates to more speed. <laughs> All right, there's Luke Larson. Appreciate you. Man. All right, man. Yes, Thank sir. Thank you. All right, there is the Chan Man with Luke Larson. I do want to say, Chandler, like I joke on you a lot. Uh, for somebody who doesn't do a lot of these, and you're probably a little nervous maybe. I don't know if nervous is the word, but you're inexperienced for sure in oh, terms no, of interviewing yeah no no doubt about it i was nervous going into those interviews but after the first one with blake harrell and then halfway through tim dows i was ready to roll i think you did a fantastic job i i like you getting some clout earning some clout saying i'm a former long snapper a pro move well i mean i just wanted to let the people know i actually told tim dows i was like yeah, i'm ready to talk about my favorite part of football oh i remember special that. teams and yeah. he was like Wait, hold on, really? Are you serious? Are you being serious right now? And I had to be like, well, I'm a former long snapper. I'm one of you. <laughs> uh, you're giving tips to the audience who don't know what hang time means. That was good. John Moody gave you a compliment. He says, I like how Chandler ends the interview with who he just spoke to. Wrapping it up. All right, that's Luke Larson. And you know what? I I really, I'm serious. I learned that from you guys here. Almost everybody, especially Jeff, Jeff Charles. Charles. Really, Jeff Charles. Cause, and coming up. Next Saturday, September 3rd, Bud Light pregame tailgate. We'll play, uh, I'm assuming we'll play uh, some Jeff Charles interviews with players and stuff. Yeah. And you'll hear that. And I, I do remember, I take that from that. So 
It's a way I, to take I'm, the coaching. Yeah, so I'm learning a lot with from you guys. The best in the business. Uh, Redbeard says, it sounds like Chandler. Now, I disagree, but I'm going to bring this up because it would be funny and I want to hear it. He says, it sounds like Chandler is doing his Jeff Connors impression. All right, we're here with Elijah Morse. <laughs> He's about 6'2", about, six two, about 260 we're going to try to get him up to about 280 by the by the end of the season that would have been funny they were like what the hell's wrong with this guy you ask him uh, all weight room questions well, what's your favorite instead of interviewing this guy we're going to actually going to go down to the murphy center we're going to actually going to do some box jumps and uh, elijah ready go there it is on a hop coach uh jeff connor's there chan man good stuff all right so that was luke larson how was your chat with the daff the daffer yeah. um it was he's dude he's laid back he's chill he is chill um good conversation with him i think the big dog got in a question about his skateboarding skills all right let's, uh, let's check it out yes sir let's hear it all right we're here with owen daffer kicker one year in so uh how comfortable are you going into year two I'm feeling pretty comfortable. I feel way better than I do uh, did at the end of last camp, just like overall kicking wise and operation time wise. Uh, but that's not really important. I need to feel like how I was at the end of last year, and I'm I'm basically there, so I feel great. That's the biggest thing. I'm a former specialist myself. I used to long snap. What is the day in the My life? My God, of dude, relax. Kicker, long snapper whatever like what what goes on while everybody else is practicing what's what's that day like for you guys i'm really i'm trying to make sure that i'm uh in the right headspace to be honest if if my body's hurting then i'll stretch stuff like that but i'm just trying to make sure i'm i'm locked in to make the kicks at the end of practice because that's when we do uh our field goal work is at the end of practice how often do you think about that kick uh against navy last year uh, be honest I I think about it a lot more because a lot of people like to ask. <laughs> so, but I'm, I just want to be able to recreate that and uh, do it again. That's the only reason I think about it. Is there anything you're trying to improve on in the kicking game this year? Uh, just, I just want to be able to make all the kicks. That's really it. If I can make all the kicks that I have a chance to do, that's, that's all I'm trying to do. I hate to break one behind the camera. Are you still skateboarding? Of course. I have to. How long have you been skateboarding? Uh, I, I don't like skateboard skateboard, but I have this uh, electric skateboard uh -huh. that goes very fast. It goes uh -huh. probably like 25 miles an hour, maybe like 30, up to 30 pounds. And I, I zoom down the road to get to class. Uh -huh. I'm not changing that because I don't want to have to walk. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Talk about the 55-year-old the punter that you guys have, Luke Larson. Yeah, 67. <laughs> oh, 67, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, he's... He's a uh, he's older too. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, we uh, we've been friends since I first got here, so uh, I'm excited to get to work with him. All right, Owen Daffer. <laughs> Chandler, I think uh, you're you're getting too comfortable, dude. Okay, I, I did all, not realize how much I did that. I mean, and I only did it to the specialist. I didn't, they're just a different breed. Yeah. Okay. Well, I have something to say here. You can't call someone who rides an electric skateboard a, a skateboarder. skateboarder okay that's a poser move Ooh. that is a poser move as someone who used to ride a skateboard in the traditional sense and i used to ride skateboards <laughs> <laughs> i was making fun of myself saying um, i'm a long snapper <laughs> okay but it's such a poser move I was a come on boarder. man <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm a longboarder. Uh, okay, fine. You're a longboarder. So you I'm are right now calling out Owen Daffer. I am calling I out. Say he, I did, am, he clarified, though. He, he said did. himself he that it's he not did. traditional skateboard. It's not a traditional skateboard. A traditional skateboard is a piece of wood with two sets of trucks underneath. Thank you and for I used that. And I used to have one. Nice. And those back in the late 80s, early 90s. I used to have the Christian Hosoi wheels, which Ooh, back in those days... Not the Hosoi. The Hosois, because back in those days, they were the solid white wheels, and they were they were pretty expensive, and I saved up my money to get those trucks, and I was so, so psyched about having them until I broke my board, and my mom said, that's it, you're not getting another board, so... I and broke, the, the I, career I, ended. The career ended. I ollied off my front porch, did not see that there was a cinder block sitting right where 
I would be landing, and I hit that sucker square in the center, split my board in half. I'm such an old dad now. The first thing I thought of when he said he had an electric skateboard that goes 30 miles an hour, I was like, that sounds dangerous, son. (laughs) Please, don't ride that. You're going to hurt yourself. You're going to shoot your eye out. But then again, well, I I don't think... 30 miles an hour? He might not, but if you and I got on one of those... We probably would. I would need two so I could have one on each foot <laughs> and, like, tie my feet to them and, yeah, maybe handles. You know what? I'm just going to drive my car. How about that? That'll be easy enough. That sounds good to me. Chandler yucking it up with the Pirate football team, throwing in interjections and cracking jokes about uh, Luke Larson's age and just being one of the guys, one of the fellas, man. And I think that's the biggest thing when I – like. I, I swear I'm not that kind of person that I, I boast about myself, but like he's I, not that kind of guy. Look, I but I want to connect with these specialists. I understand. I want to I want them to know because so you know what? Connect. They're out there probably feeling kind of on an island. They can't right. connect with with the running back and the linebacker. And I want to be like, hey, I'm here with you. There's somebody out there watching you. I might be washed up. I might not do this anymore, but I'm here with you, and I'm ready to talk shop with you that's special man you changed their lives that day they really they, i mean that's one more specialist in life that they know like owen daffer's gonna hit a uh, like a game-winning field goal this year and he's gonna lift up his jersey and it's gonna be a like kind of like clinton portis did with yeah. sean taylor boy a great example chandler well yeah, not the best example but he's gonna li- he's gonna lift it up and it's gonna be like a picture of me on his shirt and uh Hopefully I'm not dead. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, three days previous, I murdered you. Let's take a break quickly. Jeez Louise. All right. Uh, that was our Flight by Yingling East Carolina practice report. The next generation of light beer. Don't just raise a glass, raise the bar. Flight by Yingling, available wherever beer is sold. That's somebody calling in to complain about the jokes we just made. We'll take a break, come back, have more for you after this. The Buccaneer Music Hall is your beacon of music in the land of pirates. The doors open at noon, seven days a week. And the Buck has live music every night, along with football. Monday is open mic night, the first Monday of each month. Tuesday, it's karaoke with DJ Captain Morgan. Wednesday, it's acoustic night. Thursday, it's the dance party with DJ Kid Scene and live music every Friday and Saturday night with the best bands on the East Coast. Follow the Buck on Instagram for information and schedule of events. This season, party like a pirate at the Buck. Hey, Pirate Nation, Lindsey Gray here with Carolina Caliber. In 1960, my granddaddy started his firearm business right here in Eastern NC. Still family-owned and operated, we have the area's largest selection for outdoor shooting sports and accessories and are one of the nation's top firearm dealers. At Carolina Caliber, we have everything you need from hunting, home defense, and personal protection, including a wide variety for ladies and youth. We buy, sell, and trade. It's a time-honored tradition. Visit us at Carolina Caliber on Fire Tower Road in Winterville. Love is never having to say you're sorry for your internet. Because with Metronet, you get fast, reliable, 100% fiber speeds you'll love with unlimited data so you can stream, study, surf, and game on all your devices simultaneously. No lag times or buffering. Metronet offers student deals. Get 100 megabit internet for just $39.95 a month. Switch to Metronet today at metronet.com forward slash switch. Metronet, love your internet. The Rick House is Eastern North Carolina's premier American-style restaurant and bourbon bar. Join us at the Rick House for mouth-watering steaks and made-from-scratch pastas. Check out the 16-ounce cowboy steak or the seafood delight pasta. Join us for our legendary brunch on Sundays from 10 to 2. The Rick House can feed your larger crowds with off-site catering and room for 125 in our adjacent banquet hall. The Rick House, American Provisions and Spirits, 710 Red Banks Road beside the bowling alley in Greenville. This is Martin Truex Jr., and as a NASCAR Cup Series champion, I love one-stop shopping. When I need fresh tires or fuel during a race, my pit crew takes care of everything. Off the track, I have an auto owner's independent agent. They handle all my insurance in one place, car, home, life, and business. Get your own pit crew and find a local agency with auto owner's insurance. This is Norm Bryant with Town Insurance in Greenville. Call me today at 756-8300. Go Pirates! 
The Dickinson Avenue Public House is a lively and diverse restaurant in Greenville that utilizes fresh and local ingredients. With influences of Creole, Asian, and upscale Southern cuisine, the Dickinson Avenue Public House offers a seasonally rotating menu and a full-service bar with rotating craft brews on tap. Come to the intersection of 8th and Dickinson and enjoy dollar-off drafts on Tuesday, half-price flights on Wednesday, half-price wine bottles on Thursday, and dollar oysters Tuesday through Friday from 5.30 to 7. For more details, check out their website at daphousenc.com. This isn't your regular cola, so this isn't your regular cola ad. No beach parties or family barbecues here, just Nitro Pepsi, the first cola ever infused with nitrogen. So forget everything you thought you knew about soda, because that nitrogen gives us a whole new experience. Think an infusion of smaller bubbles for a cola that's got a lighter, smoother texture. And don't get me started on the pour. You don't pour this like any other cola. We're talking turn the can completely upside down and watch as those bubbles cascade into the glass to create a frothy, luxurious foam topping. Can your cola do that? I didn't think so. Unless you've got your own Nitro Pepsi, in which case, cheers to your great taste. Because you already know that the only thing better than the pour is the unapologetic cola taste. What else is there to say? From the creamy foam to the smooth texture to its unbelievably delicious flavor, this is cola like you've never had it before. Time to bring your taste buds to the next frontier. Nitro Pepsi. Smooth. Creamy. Delicious. Pirate Radio. We'll strap it on with anybody, anywhere. It doesn't matter. I know this. I want to win or lose with the group that we have in our locker room. The voice of the Pirate Nation. You're listening to Hour 2 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour brought to you by Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Drive a little and save a lot with a short trip to Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram on Highway 264 in Washington at WashingtonChryslerDodgeJeepRam.com. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. Country Mart has been locally owned and operated for over 40 years and is your premier country store serving the best cheese biscuits and country food around. Country Mart is open every day and has two locations in Bethel on Highway 11 and in Stokes on Highway 903. Both Country Mart locations are top-of-the-line fuel stations serving shell gas, including 93 ethanol-free high-octane gas, which is the best for boat owners. Country Mart fueling you up with great food and your engines with great gasoline. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here's Clip. All righty, back with you. Hour 2 of Pirate Radio Live on a Wednesday. Shirley Rhodes, Chan Man, we got the uh, crew, Jenny Glenn, uh, CJ, out at ECU practice getting some pictures, some video, and they'll have interviews coming up later today. So stay tuned for those tonight on our social media accounts, as we'll hear from Mike Houston, also Donnie Kirkpatrick, and Blake Harrell. Patrick Mason will be on the scene tonight as well. He joins us from the Daily Reflector. Hello, Patrick. Hello, hello. How are you? This sounds good. Hey, yeah, we're doing pretty good. What about you? You all right? Oh, yeah. What you need? More volume? More... No, I think... Oh, you're in a new good. spot. Yeah, it's... I know, forgot. It's a little different. A little different. You got to get used to your surroundings. Yep. Uh, but we appreciate you being here on this Wednesday. Um, for those of you, and we still have some uh, interviews to get to at some point from Media Day, they're available online. You can hear them um, all at once if you like to. Hear all the offensive guys uh, and all the defensive guys uh, on YouTube. Also, we have uh, them cut up into individual interviews available for download. Uh, so your Apple podcast and your uh, Spotify and Android, all that stuff. But if you missed it and you want a quick recap of ECU Football Media Day 2022, I've really boiled it down to 10 to 12 seconds here. So, Shirley, let's hear the Media Day recap year. I'm a former long snapper, so I love talking about this position. I'm a former specialist myself. I used to long snap. All right, I'm going to talk about my favorite part of football, special teams. How's Are you t- that's the truth? You mean that? I'm a former long snapper. Oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> Am I serious? I think you should be asking yourself, are you serious? Man. How are you going to do this to me? <laughs> <laughs> You did this to yourself. Uh, those are your words, not mine. The best was just the utter surprise from. <laughs> are you serious? Are you serious? What are you doing right now, Chandler? 
I'm doing other stuff. Oh, okay. I didn't know if you were thinking of a reply or uh, are you? So Chandler's busy right now. He's a former long snapper. Yeah, right? look, you have <laughs> to understand, I'm a former long snapper. I'm a special teams guy myself. We got to get that on your business card or a shirt. Former specialist. Yep. Chandler Honeycutt. No, no, I just no, wanted just to connect. Think- I wanted to connect with these guys. Okay. I wanted to say on the front, I'm a former long snapper. On the shirt? Yes. I do, too. I want that shirt. I would wear that shirt. It's got to have a picture of Chandler somewhere. Yeah. Former long snapper. Maybe the O in former is your face. If you look up former long snapper. (laughs) If you look up former long snapper in the dictionary, my picture is right there. I'm going (laughs) to Google former long snapper and see what pops up. Hit that again, Shirley. That was a good recap of Media Day. Year. I'm a former long snapper, so I love talking about this position. I'm a former specialist myself. I used to long snap. <laughs> All right, I'm going to talk about my favorite part of football, special teams. How's Are you t- that's the truth? You mean that? I'm a former long snapper. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. I love it. You mean that? <laughs> yeah, is this guy? I thought it was really too. He's like, dude, are you serious right now? I was like, yeah. Well, I have to. I guess I have to say, I'm a long snapper. You need to talk to Google. Go to Google.com and talk to them. Go- email Google at Google.com. Email that and say I want to be on this list. If you Google former long snappers, <laughs> look at all these people up here. Look at this list, and you're not up there. You got to figure that's out. A shame. That, that's brutal. You got to figure out how to get your uh, yourself up there. The fact that they don't have former small one A high school long snapper <laughs> Chandler Honeycutt up there is ridiculous. Patrick, uh, you're a, an athlete. You're a swimmer. <laughs> Chandler's curious about your body hair. Former water specialist. It looks like he's grown most of it back. <laughs> former water, former water sports star. <laughs> Uh, did you mention that, by the way, to the players on Saturday? Uh, I didn't. Didn't come up? No, it didn't come up. <laughs> <laughs> did you go to swimming and diving media day at ECU? No, I, I didn't. Yeah, you I, got I, to I, do I, that. I know. I missed Chandler that can help you with some questions. <laughs> <laughs> or basically, this guy's a former swimmer. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell now because he's got some hair on his arms and on his face. That's but, right. Uh, so, uh, did you? were you here for media day last year? No. Uh, no, you weren't. Nope. Okay. This was my first ECU media day. I did. Well, let's hear about it, Patrick. How, How was go? it? First day of school. You wake up. Did you buy any new shoes or no, get any back to media day gear? I don't know. It, I guess it was just exciting. Um, it was just kind of neat to... I liked how they were all at different tables, and you can kind of just wander around and talk to them at your leisure. I tried to get as many guys as I could. Just really, it was just a good meet and greet opportunity. Like, hey, here's what I look like, and I'll be, you know, asking yeah. you questions for the next few months. I mean, seriously, that is a, a great part of it. You want to yeah. form some sort of relationship. How did you like the part where uh, somebody from Pirate Radio just went up and put up a tripod and a camera right in your face? <laughs> Certainly interesting. Yeah. I thought I was doing good getting an aisle seat, too, you know, yeah. like an airplane. You're too nice of a guy, Patrick. <laughs> you should have knocked the camera over just I mean, caused a big scene. I guess it's not like I need to see anything, though, right? <laughs> like, I don't need to, like, look at Mike Houston the whole time. Yeah. Uh, Mike Houston, once again, you talked to him quite a bit this preseason, but really uh, seems upbeat. And I, I say that, and I don't want it to sound like it's false hope or anything, like because Mike Houston's somewhat honest with us. But man, he has been very excited sounding about this football team and what he's built here. He really has, and like usually, I mean, every team in America is probably really excited about what they got. You know, if you ask any team, they're going to win right. thing. But, I mean, but also kind of taking that in context, he does have that. He just always has a smile on his face, you know. And even in, in uh, press conference settings, he's kind of joking around and just kind of having a good time. But you could definitely see there's like a serious layer to him for sure. sure. But, you know, he, it's definitely, a, you know, a happy guy right now. All right, let's, uh, let's do some superlatives. Uh, we talked about it earlier this week. Uh, my, my breakthrough interview, my, my all-star, because it was the first time talking to him, but it was Raquan Boyette, the uh, the outside receivers coach for East Carolina. He is a ball of energy and was awesome. He actually cursed uh, during our interview, nice. dropped an S-bomb. Shirley, can we hear that real quick? Because it's pretty close into uh, the beginning. I think it's the second question. Raquan Boyette uh, from Media Day. What can people expect definitely for the wide receivers on September 3rd in the season? I expect us, and you can expect us to play with a lot of effort, a lot of energy, and be able to execute and go make a lot of damn plays for this offense. And the biggest thing for us 
is when I say make plays, people think that for us it's just about catching the football and doing different things when it's in our hands. No, we're going to be the best damn blockers in the country. And I put, I put a lot of energy into what they do. They put a lot of energy and pride into what they do. And I feel really confident that we have the ability to do that. Now, again, I can say that right here sitting here. I know that. We have to go out and prove that and put that on the field to make those words true. Just judging off that uh, quick, brief conversation, I can feel the energy from you. Yes, so, uh, not too far removed from your playing days, I guess. So, uh, so how excited do you get out there at practice? I get excited, man. But even though I'm not too far removed, my body feels like I am, right? So, I get excited. I get it. I get um, have a lot of energy. And by the time, once I finish practice, I'm drenched. I have to rehydrate my dog on self. I have to get myself back into the mode to be able to watch film and continue out through the day, man. But I think football coaching is about energy and one of the qualities is about energy and great energy and not anything fake that's one of the things coach houston is really high on that we're high on here we don't want nothing fake everything around us and surrounding east carolina will be real and the energy is real Isaiah Winstead comes in. It sounds like uh, he has looked the part as advertised. Coach Kirkpatrick said he has to kind of calm himself down sometimes. He's like, so, so what's it like working with that guy? It's awesome. It is flat out awesome, man. I have not worked with a cat like this. Um, man, shoot, my apologies. Shoot, and, and, uh, and I don't know when, man. And what I mean by that is the mentality. And the He's fired up. He's ready to go. It sounds like football. A couple it? of D words, dropped an S-bomb. Uh, he is uh, He's ready to roll. So he was my uh, all-star, Chandler. You're not the only one. I just talked to our next guest, Stephen Igo. He said he cussed like three or four times when he talked to him, too. <laughs> I like it. More cussing in press conferences. I know next year Chandler's so comfortable now. I'm going to start cussing. Look, I'm a former. I'm a damn long snapper. <laughs> you, you understand me? <laughs> uh, so, Boyette, as far as the coach goes, got my, my all-star best interview. Chandler, who was your best interview from Saturday? Probably Steve Ellis. Okay, and we haven't heard that yet, have we? I don't think so. All right, nice. Something to look forward to. Patrick, uh, who was your best interview? It's really funny you say that, Chandler, because I was going to say Steve Ellis as well. I mean, he taught, he taught not just to me, but to my soul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he, he was sort of the same way with me. I just felt like a really big passion for that, and he was just he was really excited. <laughs> Maybe because not many people are over at his table, but he was fired up. Talking. He wanted to talk to somebody. He did. <laughs> uh, how about player-wise? Who was your uh, – did you have an MVP? You know, I guess what most stood out – Probably the most intense guy um, was Elijah Morris. He was, I mean, just some of the, just the kind of words he was using was unique. He, I think he used the word abuse a couple different times. Just how he wants to, you know, finally hit someone else besides his teammates. Um, so that really stood out to me for sure. It was just, just the way he kind of carried himself. Did you talk to Nashad Strother? I did not. How about Parker Moore? Yes. All right. Parker, both of them you sound like adults when you speak to him strother uh, especially he just sounds like a, a professor you're talking to but parker you kind of tell he's an older guy when you talk to him right yeah when i walked over to parker i almost felt like i was the one who's kind of like all right i'm here like you know where do i go stay at? like he, he was just kind of almost seemed like he was like the guide for the day and he was just kind of hanging out but it, it was really cool because he said you know he's been in different stops so when he came over here he really wasn't sure what to expect and he said within the first week he felt like he was here for years which i mean I thought that was just really cool. Yeah. Uh, also, I talked to Holton Naylor's. I'm out of questions, really, for Holton, although I did kind of pick up something new that I hadn't talked much about him uh, with about him this offseason. He says he's got a lot of control, and I think he said free reign, pretty much free reign to, you know, check off, audible, things like that. So, at this point, I, I'm out of questions for Holton, but, like, <laughs> did you uh, ask these guys uh, that – You've kind of been able to talk to, you know, previously uh, things you weren't able to ask, you know? Yeah, um, you know, you mentioned Holton. He said that, too. He can, you know, has some more rain at the, the line of scrimmage. I actually talked with Noah Henderson a little bit um, last year, and we were both in D.C. for that bowl game, and I was outside the, the team hotel, and me and him were just talking for, like, 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> so it was kind of cool to reconnect with him um, the other day. And Another very mature young man. Yeah, he was. And he was, you know, really excited to actually get a, a healthy season under his belt and start playing. And he I mean, he looks huge and ready to go. So Yeah, that, and was, that part that was cool. is huge, too, because his thing was like a lingering deal. Like, it wasn't something that he could sit out and get right. He just had to kind of fight through it. Sounds like now, though, he's he's ready to roll. Yeah, and it sounds like he almost is approaching this year like he's got a new lease on his football life. I and mean, he said even practice days when he was miserable outside weather-wise, he was just so excited to be there. 
Uh, Chandler described Owen Daffer as chill. Like, who's the most laid back guy you want to hang out with and watch a White Sox game? <laughs> you know, that's a good question. Um, I, I'm sure he's not laid back at all, but uh, Demel Hickman, I had a good conversation with. Okay. I mean, he, he just kind of seemed down to earth and. Um, but I know he's pretty much anything but chill kind of on the field. But I hate to use one of our Pirate Radio guys, but, I mean, Rajay Harris is, like, the chillest guy ever. He's funny. <laughs> he's got a good personality. Like, I could see us hanging out. We were talking about the 49ers and commanders and, like. Like, watch a Niners-Commanders game. Yeah. And, I mean, he would talk a lot of junk because he's already doing that. But uh seems like a pretty cool dude. Yeah. Like, Rajay, uh, I didn't mean to cut you off, but Rajay, he almost like breaks the fourth wall a lot, like in practice, because he'll turn to us and just make a, a quick comment and then go back to his drill. <laughs> like, it's just kind of funny kind of seeing him interact and to see how comfortable he is and what he's doing. And credit to Mike Houston's coaching staff for bringing in these guys. I mean, not a bad interview in the bunch, not a, a bad guy in the bunch we talked to. So, it's kind of cliche and old and hokey, but seriously, a uh, great group of dudes. Yeah, good, good bunch. <laughs> As Mike Houston would say. Yeah, definitely well spoken, and you know you can definitely it's tell that they're a really bunch. Really yeah. good bunch. Yeah. You can tell that they're all they kind of have a shared goal this year. At least I, mean, I don't know how much that really means, but it's definitely they're all kind of pulling from that same end. Yes, sir. Uh, Patrick Mason joining us. We'll take a timeout. Come back. We'll talk more ECU and NC State, and wrap up hour number two of Pirate Radio Live here on a Wednesday. Day. Back with you after this. <laughs> Hey, Pirate Nation, this is Holt Nailers for my friends at ArcPoint Labs. Just as I trust my teammates, you can trust ArcPoint Labs to give you quick and accurate results for your laboratory testing needs. ArcPoint Labs provides insights and solutions to enable individuals, businesses, and communities to make informed decisions on their health, safety, and well-being. Visit any of the six Eastern North Carolina ArcPoint Labs locations or go to ArcPointLabs.com. Go Pirates! If you have family coming over this summer, the last thing you need is sweaty relatives. Guarantee your air conditioning system is ready to keep everybody cool. Call Delcor. Buy a new train system and make no payments until 2023. It's hard to stop a train. With inflation and high gas prices, you don't need another payment. So buy this month and make no payments until 2023. Go to DelcorInc.com or call 252-321-8868. Delcor, the service professionals. Do you want to feel healthier and have more energy? The secret is all in what you eat. At Kinetic Physical Therapy and Wellness, we have certified dietitians to provide you with accurate advice on the eating plan and the lifestyle choices that you need to make to help you live well. You need more than just an internet search to be able to get a plan that fits your unique needs. Your dietitian will customize an eating plan that is specific to your goals, your budget, and your lifestyle, while providing coaching along the way so you can live well. Sign up today at kptonline.com. This is Talbot Green with Angel Oak Home Loans. If you're looking to purchase a home, it is still a great time, and being pre-qualified before you begin shopping is an advantage. At Angel Oak, we offer a wide variety of programs ranging from conventional, government, and portfolio loans that can fit most financial situations. To get started, contact our experienced team of Talbot Green, Braxton Green, Joanne Weir, or Wanda Hager at 751-2060. NMLS 1719250, Equal Housing Lender. Welcome to U.S. Cellular, where new and current customers choose any phone they want for free. Free? Even the one with 5G and lots of storage? Free. And the one with the latest everything? Free. At U.S. Cellular, any phone you see is free, whether you're a new or current customer. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. Terms apply. See uscellular.com for details. This is Brandon Tate, owner and operator of Atlantic Wireless, an authorized agent for U.S. Cellular since 1997. Visit AtlanticWireless.com to find the store near you. We go beyond the call. It's Bostic Sug Furniture's Midsummer Stream Event. Beautiful furniture at unbelievable low prices. Storewide savings on beautiful looks for your home. Bonus savings of 25% off accessories. Plus six months special financing. We have hundreds of top name brands in stock and ready for immediate delivery. Enjoy sweet dreams on a new mattress with 48 months special financing with no minimum purchase. During the Midsummer Stream Event. On now at Bostic Sug Furniture. It's bow time. Why are Bojangles Chicken Supremes called Supremes? Well, with golden crispy chicken tenderloins this juicy, tender, and full of bold flavor, what else would you call them? Superbs? Nah, that would be weird. 
Get your Chicken Supremes combo today with a scratch-made biscuit, your choice of fixin', legendary iced tea, and have you heard there's a new sauce in town? Try our new creamy buffalo sauce when you get a Chicken Supremes combo today. It's bow time. When I need jeans, I order online because I know exactly what I want. They have just one moving part, and if there's something wrong, I exchange them. Buying a vehicle, especially pre-owned, is way different. Lots of moving parts. You don't want to get stuck. For a worry-free purchase, visit Phelps Chevrolet. We've been here in town a very long time. You know us. You know we stand behind everything we sell. Phelps Chevrolet in Greenville. Come get you one. Pirate Radio. Blah, blah, blah. This. Blah, 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 blah. Is. Blah. Pirate. Blah, blah. Radio. You're listening to Hour 2 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour brought to you by Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Drive a little and save a lot with a short trip to Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram on Highway 264 in Washington at WashingtonChryslerDodgeJeepRam.com. Now, back to the show. Welcome back for the latest breaking news, interesting stories, and awesome contests that can make you a winner. Be sure to follow Pirate Radio on our social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at PR927FM. Join the over 58,000 followers today. Now let's head back into prl here's clip all right patrick mason and i have a rando conversation it stemmed from sean armstrong's uh cleveland jersey hanging in the hallway here at pirate radio a sweet throwback jersey and then my mind went to the turn ahead the clock jerseys from 1999 a little before your time i go can you hear me talking yes did ken griffey jr wear his hat backwards during the game in the turn ahead the clock Uniform in the game. I, I I think he might have. Uh, but anyway, he looked cool in them. A lot of people look foolish. <laughs> but uh, if you're unfamiliar with what we're talking about, uh, check out the turn ahead, the clock uniforms. And guys are out there wearing sleeveless jerseys with no shirts under them, and it looks like a different sport almost. So every now and then baseball will do something wacky. They had the Field of Dreams game recently and also the uh, Williamsport game the other night as yeah. well. So, uh, it's cool to see. All right, P-Mace, back to football. Enough baseball talk. Thank you. Orioles Enjoy. beat the White Sox last yes, night. No more baseball. Who is Dylan Cease, by the way? He's a good pitcher for the White Sox. I'm aware of that. Yes. Like, is this his first? I haven't heard much from him until this year. Has he uh, been around? Yeah, I think his first year maybe was that 2020 year. Okay. Um, just kind of came up for a little bit. But he was, the Cubs actually <clears throat> traded him to the White Sox. Um it's part of the Quintana and uh, Eloy Jimenez trade. But, uh, yeah, Dylan Cease has just been awesome. Yeah. You know, that, that uh, Astros-Verlander-Cease matchup was pretty cool. How does it feel? I, I know I said we're going to enough baseball, and now I'm going to ask you baseball questions. Um, how does it feel to lose to the Orioles? Because if I told you before the season the White Sox were playing important games in late August and they were losing to the Orioles, <laughs> you'd be like, this is terrible. But, like, the Orioles keep winning. Yeah. So it's like it's not – they're 64 and 58. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. In a very tough division. And you probably follow the games and you're like, who are these guys? And they keep winning ball games. They just do a lot of good things, right? I think this is maybe the second or third time the Sox have played them. Like the Orioles, are, they'll take the extra base on you. They'll, you know, stop you from taking the extra base. They run hard. I mean, it's just a, it's a team that's like the exact opposite of what the White Sox are right now. <laughs> Yeah, uh, White Sox, just like every conversation we have with Patrick, are right around 500. Yep. One game over 500. And I haven't looked at the standings in a while. Ooh, four games back now yeah, of think, the Guardians. I think the O's are chasing Seattle's maybe yeah. the nearest, but there's a few teams up there. But it's crazy that they're in this race. Yeah, uh, you can hear that game tonight right here on Pirate Radio. And the O's are so dang good, they're putting them on FS1 tonight, uh, 7 wow. o'clock. Patrick, you should come out to sports <laughs> trivia at AJ's, hang out and watch it. That's right. It's got to be that Sox boost, right? You know, everyone wants to watch it. Is that it. what it is? No. They want to see if La Russa <laughs> does something funny? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's it. All right. Uh, Pirate football. We are a week and a half away again. I, I'm at the point now where I'm kind of tired of talking about it. From the ECU perspective, we will dive into the state perspective some on Thursday's show when we welcome in 
uh, Corey Smith from 24-7 uh, Wolfpack Sports, Pack Pride. He'll join us on the program. So uh, we will talk some Wolfpack football on Thursday. But how about you from the uh, the ECU perspective, Patrick, uh, as we come out of fall camp? Were, were any of those questions we had going into fall camp answered, in your opinion? Um, I think so. I mean, they're, they're definitely in the process of being worked out. I think they have a good idea of, of what they want to do. Really, I, th- I think when this, we talk about this game coming up, it's just really important, I think, for a lot of the – like they talk about all, all summer about these – experienced veteran players just knowing what to do like we we need to see really good performances out of those guys i mean that, that's kind of a given um and because you got to give some of these guys time i think too to get some game reps some of these newer guys to really get going i guess it might be unfair to ask them to be at 100 percent and get going right away from the start i think it's important for the guys we know to do well but also i think we're going to be counting on isaiah winstead and jalen johnson yeah and maybe Washington at corner, like some of these new guys. So, and they're, they're veterans. They're not young guys, but they are young to the program. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to be counting on them. I was talking to somebody earlier today who I'm trying, I try not to get too fired up and too, you know, purple glasses going into a season. But he said, man, I've been out there. They got Winstead out wide, cj beside him in the slot jones on the other side and then jalen johnson on the outside and everybody's six foot plus and <laughs> i it starts to kind of get you excited about about the weapons and uh of course there's two guys in the backfield so uh whole nailers is going to have his options this year I'm, I'm very anxious to see what winstead looks like when the lights turn on I, i'm very excited about him i think it's going to be interesting too because you know like we played that clip um the wide receivers coach talking like that's that's what he was telling me too like they're really focusing on blocking too and yeah you know, some of the running backs like i wonder if like how this offense is going to look early on like are they because they do have two dependable running backs they got a reworked offensive line like I'm, i guess i'm just curious like are they really just gonna try to control tempo and run the ball or are they going to try to show off a lot of these pieces early i think it'll just be interesting to see in the first couple of weeks for sure patrick mason joining us you'll be out there uh this evening yes all right uh q a with mike houston donnie kirkpatrick blake carroll you can check that out page of the daily reflector reflector.com patrick is also on twitter doesn't use it much but you're <laughs> out there I, I think the one of the last things i tweeted it was kind of going back to baseball was the albert Pujols. i was uh, you know he's kind of chasing 700 yeah. homers. i hope he comes up a little short and comes back next year and just you know it's a, a silly kind of thing going for it and the cardinals have to put him in the lineup yeah. and he's hitting like 120 right like a mr 3000 movie remake. Yeah. wow that is a reference i didn't think you would <laughs> wait you know what never mind i was thinking of mr baseball yeah, with tom good... Selleck. okay when you said that yeah, mr 3000 bernie is bernie mac and i don't think i ever saw that movie oh you need to do uh yeah it, it's it's a good movie all right i'll take your word for it i also forgot patrick that we were meant we uh were supposed to look up your old tweets we still got to do that Ooh, that's right <laughs> we'll do that one day archive wednesday i guess we'll save that for uh a january post football discussion yeah like or a, a bye week bye week, yes. week discussion will be patrick's old tweets uh patrick thanks for hanging out you're welcome to stay we're gonna introduce i go here go in as a caravan <laughs> it's uh it's up to you if you want to <laughs> stick around uh, we will take a timeout, come back. Hour three of Pirate Radio Live. In that hour, we've got a giveaway for you. We've got our final position preview. We'll be talking special teams. And we will pick the brain of Stephen Igo, talk all things ECU football when we return on Pirate Radio Live here on a Wednesday. Back with you after this. Here today with Jeff Stein from Brown and Wood. Hey Jeff, how's inventory going? Inventory levels are increasing. For the first time in over 45 days, we have Mazdas in stock, Buick in stock, Cadillac in stock, and GMC in stock. I highly encourage the customer to go to gmc.com, build and price their vehicle, share that with Brown and Wood, and let us place your order. We need some price protection for these customers, and you got to place an order to have that. Brown and Wood, your number one dealership in Greenville, and the home of the lifetime powertrain warranty. Flight by Yingling. It's the next generation of light beer. For those who don't follow trends, but craft them. Flight by Yingling is 12 ounces of uncompromised refreshment from America's oldest brewery. With only 2.6 grams of carbs and 95 calories, this is premium refreshment, six generations in the making. Don't just raise a glass, raise the bar. Flight by Yingling. Available wherever beer is sold. DG Yingling and Sun Incorporated. Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Please enjoy responsibly. 
Have you experienced increased aches and pains recently? Have you heard of CBD? Hemp Garden is your premier CBD retailer in Eastern North Carolina. Do you find yourself having anxiety or in need of extra sleep support? Hemp Garden has a variety of Delta 8 and Delta 9 products that can assist with those issues. If you're unable to stop by the store, don't worry. Give them a call today at 413-6100 for a consultation and they'll ship right to your door. Hemp Garden, 3040 South Evans Street in the Target Shopping Center in Greenville. Country Mart has been locally owned and operated for over 40 years and is your premier country store serving the best cheese biscuits and country food around. Country Mart is open every day and has two locations in Bethel on Highway 11 and in Stokes on Highway 903. Both Country Mart locations are top of the line fuel stations serving shell gas including 93 ethanol free high octane gas which is the best for all you boat owners. Country Mart fueling you up with great food in your engines with great gas Go Pirates! Last year, we found out that I had cancer. We were all super scared. Mom and Dad said they don't know what we would have done. Friday's Army hadn't been there for us. We invite you to join us on Saturday, August 27th at the Hilton Greenville for the Glow for Gold Gala, benefiting Riley's Army, presented by Grover Gaming. Tickets can be found at Riley'sArmy.com or by calling 252-481-4471. Riley's Army hopes that you never need them. But if you do, they'll be there for your family, just like they were for mine. Great food, great atmosphere, and great service is Atavola Market Cafe. Atavola is simply a restaurant that focuses on that, being a great restaurant. There's something for everyone at Atavola. The menu offers a variety of great choices like pastas, pizzas, sandwiches, soups, salads, and seasonal rotating selections. Lunch or dinner, Atavola is always the right call. Call ahead and get Atavola to go. Or stop by the bar for a drink with friends. It's simple. Come and eat at Atavola Market Cafe, Red Banks Road next to Food Lion, and AtavolaMarket.com. Atavola, pirates supporting pirates. Hi, I'm Annalie Newhoff. And I'm Rob Campbell. And, and we, we are, are with, with Copy Pro. Pro. We have been locally owned and operated here in eastern North Carolina for almost 50 years. Copy Pro is the leader in office technology. Does your business struggle with keeping printing costs low or producing professional documents? Here at Copy Pro, total customer satisfaction is our number one priority. We have a variety of solutions to help reduce your printing expenses and make your business more productive. Call us today at 1 800 682 6558 or online at copypro.net. Copy Pro. We are the professional office systems people. Pabst is the place where friends come to gather. A place where the party naturally goes. A place where someone is microwaving a burrito. A place where... A, a kitchen. It's a kitchen. Pabst Blue Ribbon. This is the place. Hey, Pirate fans. Get stocked up for tailgating season with PBR at your favorite retailer. Look for the QR code on the PBR display and register for a chance to win a PBR cooler full of beer. Game day or any day, all pirates prefer PBR. This is Pirate Radio, WGHB Farmville, 1250 at 92.7 FM Greenville, WDLX Washington, 930 at 104.1 FM Washington. You're listening to Hour 3 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour of PRL is brought to you by Bud Light. Reminding Pirate fans to stay in the game and drink responsibly. Bud Light, the official beer of the ECU Pirates and proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. Live well, move more, and hurt less with kinetic physical therapy. If you're recovering from an injury, getting back into sports, dealing with everyday pain or fatigue, then kinetic physical therapy can help you get back on track and live well kinetic has nationally certified therapists for physical occupational speech and massage therapy all in a state-of-the-art facility on arlington boulevard in greenville visit kineticptgreenville.com for more information now let's head back in to prl here's clip all righty hour three pirate radio live here on a wednesday i go is fired up uh, I like getting a chuckle out of Igo, and I saw him chuckling at this earlier. Shirley, give me the 2022 ECU Football Media Day recap. Oh, hold on. All right. I'm, Here, a- I'm a former long snapper, so I love talking about this position. I'm a former specialist myself. I used to long snap. All right, I'm going to talk about my favorite part of football, special teams. How's Are you t- that's the truth? You mean that? I'm a former long snapper. Oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah. yeah. There it is. <laughs> Gauss's response where he's like, oh, shoot, okay, is the best part, man. He's like, hey, one of us. You and Dowster boys, have y'all grabbed a brouhaha since then? Or? 
No, but uh, I think we're going this Friday. All right. Have fun out there. Get them before the season starts. So. Steven Igo is here. Igo, guess what we got to do? <laughs> Our well, damn you, intro. You want to go grab a beer down the street <laughs> yeah, while, while I was played? This is a fun idea. I'm going to start cussing like Raekwon Boy up. <laughs> this is a fun idea in June. Uh, we got to hit it. I mean, we could talk over it, I guess. But, Shirley, go Just ahead. roll it. Yeah. I go. I go. I go, I go. He's the one you know. It's only three minutes. I go, I go, I go, I go. And I guys got to leave I early go. and go to practice, and we're doing He's this. Boomers, bro. I go, I go, I go, I go, I go. He's good at MLB the show. Used to be. I go. Chandler go. Go. He's out long snapping. <laughs> He's a former long snapper. I go, I go, I go, I go, I go. I'm long I'm snapping right, right here, bro. bro. I go, I go, I go, I go, I go. This song continues to grow. Unnecessarily. I go, I go, I go, I go, I go. I go. Can we just get back to the show? Please. <laughs> I go, I go, I go, I go, I go. Hi, this is Michael Rasko. That was fantastic. A minute and 50 seconds I left. Go, All right. I go, I go, I go. We're almost halfway done. I go. Dave Doran lost to Coach Mo. See, that's a fact. Yeah. You need to remember. I go, I go, I go, I go. Really good, Chandler. I go, I go, I go, I go. I'm a horse. I go. We should have Corey Glore saying hello. That's a good idea. I go, I go, I go, I go. Did he do it? I go. Hello. He did. How much longer? I, I go. I go. Ten seconds. I go. I go. <laughs> Oh, this part this is part's in slow mo. Thank God, we had a slow mo part. <laughs> <laughs> just what we need. I go, I go, I go, I go. Oh man, I just thought I of an go. idea. Score! Sebastian Aho. Maybe I could speed it up. I yeah. Go, you go with the fast go, version. I yeah. Go, I go. And then the slow mo. I go. Be He's back in studio. Here he is. I go. I go, I go, I go, I go. CJ, you're up. I'll take Hunter Renfro. Nice yeah, pick. Fantasy football. Nice pick. Yep. I go. Hunter catches thousand I go, yards last I go, year. I go, wow. I go. I have no idea. A little naughty by nature. I go, I go, I go, I go, I go. Oh, I stubbed my toe. <laughs> I go, I go, I go. Oh. the payoff there i was expecting a little more <laughs> i mean come you know on what's even worse is i asked clip i said was that dramatic enough or do i need to be a little more dramatic he was like nah that's fine <laughs> no it's one fine. take yeah, yeah and i love the cartoon noise like I, it was right it was good shirley I mean, there's only um, so many it, things that rhyme or go. I feel like it made it faster with us ad-libbing it too yeah it I didn't hurt like it made it slower <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just about time to take a break, but I guess uh, we'll get something in this segment. Steve O, Media Day Superlatives. Your MVP was who? My most valuable player of Media Day. Wow. Most valuable participant. Most valuable participant. You know, I really, not to go into a, <clears throat> a diatribe here, but. Well, this could take a while. I really we do. try not to have segments that take too long on this show. Right, right. So right. if you could speed it like up. Four yeah, minute intro videos <laughs> or intro songs. Yeah. Um, I miss the days, and you know, I don't think it's anybody's fault necessarily, but where we did, where we had more than 15 minutes yeah. through the assistant coaches, because we used to be able to talk to all of them yep. and kind of at length. And now it's like, I only got to three. Um, you know, you guys have mentioned Raekwon Boyette. I think he's the obvious candidate. You know, Steve Shankwater is always good. Question, did you talk to Donnie? 
No. I <laughs> he didn't have time. Avoided Donnie because I, was I say, know it would take the entire time. Yeah. I, and we have a great crew here. And shout out to Chan Man. He is a former long snapper, but uh, did a great job. So we were able to split it up, I go. You were kind of a solo act as far as asking questions, right? Yeah, like I had a couple of interns doing video, social yeah. media stuff. But, I mean, it's just. You're right. It is quick, man. And, you know, the players for 30 minutes is good. Like, I got to most of the players. And, you know, I'd probably say um, Nashad Strother. Yeah. Uh, that was the know, first time I've talked to him. Yeah, I mean, I haven't talked to him really either either night or uh excuse me not either night so i was just reading a text message hang out with guys during the night buddy. i got a text message that said either night so it messed me up at the same time that happens i, I was gonna, supposed to say either year yeah that he's been here uh previously but i did cover him recruiting and i remember him being very and a very astute individual very mature very mature and he was mature then coming out of high school and so i knew he'd be a solid interview um Demel Hickman was also solid because I wanted to do a piece on his kind of maturity. It's hard to believe he's in his fifth year, mm. and he's now you know getting the chance to potentially start at cornerback after sitting behind Jaquan McMillan, <laughs> as uh, he told Chandler. Real quick on Hickman, I I I was kind of trying to boot him out. I go, let's bring in, uh, let's put in Washington. Let's right. put in one of these new six two six three guys they got back there. Uh, and I remember you saying early on that, you know, he, he might have a spot here on the defense. How about an update on Corner and Hickman specifically? Well, I think your top four are going to be uh, Malik Fleming for sure. He's going to start. And then the other spot kind of comes down to Hickman, Jawan Powell, a pre Washington. The guy to keep an eye on, though, is Isaiah Brown Murray, freshman. IBM. From uh, Huff High School. You know, I, I true talk, fresh. True freshman. Wow. But he was in for spring ball and. You know, talking with some guys the other day, like Jaira Wilson told me that he's been really impressed with uh, IBM. Kind of built similarly to Jaquan McMillan, a little bigger, but still not big by any means. He just covers people well. And, you know, if you're a freshman, you can play corner because it's more about coverage than physicality. I mean, you want to be physical, but if you can cover somebody, you can cover somebody. So, uh, but I think more than anything, it'll be those four guys. And I do expect Demel Hickman, whether he's in the starting lineup or not on September 3rd, to play significantly because I feel like he's to the point where he's practiced well enough now. He's proven he deserves that shot, and now he'll get get his opportunity in a game. And then you see how he responds from there to kind of, you know, because some guys are gamers. Some guys aren't. And so you just kind of have to figure out who is, who isn't by putting him in that, in that role. All right, good stuff. Uh, Hickman, one of your stars. By the way, I did enjoy the interview with Jaira Wilson. Folks can hear that. Go to hoistacolors.net. I have not heard uh, Tegan Wilk yet. I'll check Tegan that out. Tegan very, Wilk, uh, very astute individual as well. And he talks about his tattoos. Uh, is that your word of the day? Astute. <laughs> yeah. Intellectual. <laughs> You're a fan of astute. Um, shout out, and I'll say it again. Shout out. Kind of corny, I go, but uh, Mike Houston's brought in a good bunch. Hey, there's some good dudes, right? Let's just compare, and not to, like, rag on the guys in 2019, but try and compare the vibe of, like, 2019 media day to this year's media day. Yeah. And it was just, it's night and day, and it is so refreshing. It really is. You know, college athletics these days, you have so many guys transfer in and out, and there's still some transfers that, like, have come in that we've gotten to know, but, like, it's so refreshing to actually get to know the players, see them develop, they're going into their third, fourth, fifth year. You know, we've, you know, we haven't created like a a bond for life with them, but we do have a relationship with them. So they know they know what to expect from us. We know what to expect from them. That allows them to be more comfortable in interviews. Uh, that allows them to be more comfortable off the field. You guys have done a great job with the players lounge, allowing, you know, fans to get to know the players more. And, and it's just so refreshing for them to be able to open up and for us to be able to see what type of people they are because they really are uh, there, there's a ton of good people in that locker room and that's a you know it's a cliche to say you gotta have character when uh coach staff is going to recruit somebody but uh this coach staff really has put together a, a strong locker room as far as character and not to be a horn tutor i'm not a former long snapper you, you. but uh things like this are cool bryson Worrell. We're at, I think it was that uh, Monday when it was announced where they were going to be, you know, hosting a regional, super regional. But Bryson doing interviews, and I heard him tell Cliff Godwin that, you know, being on the radio has helped him with interviews. And that was cool to hear. Monday, Keaton Mitchell says, first day of class, 
he hates public speaking. He had to go up in front and talk and uh, said he was a little more comfortable just from talking with us. So that kind of stuff is uh, is cool to hear, I guess. I remember talking to Keaton Mitchell after the Appalachian State game last year, and he was not comfortable at all. Like, he just was not – because I don't know if we had ever talked to him. You know, during the COVID year, we didn't really talk to anybody. So you have to think he came in as a freshman that year, had a pretty good year. We don't get to talk to freshmen until yeah. Mike Houston allows us mm-hmm. anyway. And, yeah. and that's how most programs run it. But basically, he had probably never done an interview of that magnitude. So, And I, I don't even think he wanted to do an interview really when he committed, maybe a, like a short one back in high school. So he just wasn't comfortable. Yeah. We could gauge that. And to see him kind of be as comfortable as he is with you guys on the air, as comfortable now on media day that he, as he was, it's, it's good to see. And, you know, I think it was – Troy who said you know if he has the type of career he could potentially have he's going to be answering questions a long time so he needs to get this experience it's good for him I got good stuff let's take a time out no time to waste we got to do a special teams preview so we'll do that when we return we'll also you know what Shirley you want to do it right now let's open up the booty bag let's not open up the booty bag right now because that's a terrible idea we'll do it after the next segment when we return as Shirley's doing double duty we're back with you after this Pirate Nation, this is Holton Aylers, and when it comes to getting your family together, there's no better place than Familia, which is Italian for family. Familia is the place I like to bring my football family, especially my offense alignment. Whether it's great New York style pizzas, homemade meatballs, lasagna, chicken parmesan, or delicious homemade desserts, Familia is a winning play every time. For dine-in or takeout, make Familia your go-to play when you have a hungry team. Familia on Fire Tower Road near Pitt Community College. Go Pirates! Hey, Pirate Nation, this is Holt Nailers for my friends at ArcPoint Labs. Just as I trust my teammates, you can trust ArcPoint Labs to give you quick and accurate results for your laboratory testing needs. ArcPoint Labs provides insights and solutions to enable individuals, businesses, and communities to make informed decisions on their health, safety, and well-being. Visit any of the six Eastern North Carolina ArcPoint Labs locations or go to arcpointlabs.com. Go Pirates! When it comes to hauling dirt, asphalt, or stone, you can trust the pros at First and Goal Hauling Incorporated. They have a fleet of dump trucks ready to get the job done. And best of all, it's owned and operated by ECU football alum Dakota Marshall. When you have a big job and you need it done right, count on First and Goal Hauling, where it's a touchdown every time. Keep up with Dakota Marshall and First and Goal Hauling by following them on Facebook today. Are you ready for some football, Pirate Nation? Bud Light is America's favorite light beer and the official beer of the ECU Pirates. When planning your fun times this football season, be sure to pick up some Bud Light at your favorite retailer. Bud Light carefully brews their beer to be perfect for anywhere there's fun. Because when there's fun, Bud Light is there. Get ready to have fun this season, Pirate Nation, and always stay in the game and drink responsibly. Bud Light, the official beer of the ECU Pirates and proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. Love is finding the internet of your dreams from Metronet. Get ready for fast, reliable, 100% fiber speeds with unlimited data so you can stream, study, surf, and game on all your devices simultaneously. No lag times or buffering. Metronet offers student deals. Get 100 megabit internet for just $39.95 a month. Switch today at metronet.com forward slash switch. Metronet, love your internet. The convenience of Pitt Greenville Airport is waiting just outside your front door. Service is back, so you're connected to destinations worldwide through flights from American Airlines. Plan your next trip. Book your flights today at flypgv.com or aa.com. Avoid the long check-in lines and congestion at the big airports and fly local at PGV. Fast, convenient, and close to home, PGV has American Airlines flights perfect for your next trip. Book today at aa.com. PGV, where the pirates fly. That perfect tractor package you've been eyeing and quality equipment just got a little more perfect. Haul your next one, three, or five series John Deere tractor off the lot on your brand new trailer. Visit our site at qualityequip.com to add it to your package. 
Start with quality equipment to get any task done right. We've got the full line of John Deere equipment priced right with low monthly payments and special financing. Plus, we service everything we sell. Visit qualityequip.com to see our latest offers. Winslow's is now Fifth Street Hardware Restaurant and Tap Room. With a brand new look, Fifth Street Hardware also has a new menu and serving lunch and dinner every Tuesday through Sunday and brunch starting at 1030 on Sundays. What else is new? Well, they have poker every Tuesday night, Trivia Wednesday with DJ Captain Morgan, and on Friday and Saturday nights, they have live music open till 2 a.m. serving light appetizers all night long. New look, new name, same location on Fifth Street. Follow them on Facebook and Instagram for more specials. Fifth Street Hardware Restaurant and Tap Room. This is Tim Doust, ECU football special teams coordinator, and you're listening to Pirate Radio, the voice of Pirate Nation. You're listening to Hour 3 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour of PRL is brought to you by Bud Light, reminding Pirate fans to stay in the game and drink responsibly. Bud Light, the official beer of the ECU Pirates and proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. Now back to the show. Welcome back. To get the business services that are right for your business today, contact the team of experienced local bankers at First Bank. The team includes bankers you can trust like Ashley Capps, Lee Watson, Bonner Lake, them, Chris Richards, Josh Hooten, and Heath Nesbitt. First Bank, together with their customers, they're creating a world where individuals and communities thrive. First Bank on Arlington Boulevard in Greenville. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here's a clip. Live, Stephen. I'm a Braves fan. Jeez. Jeez. Hey, dumb questions, especially from smart people, astute people like you, Stephen. Steve and I go hoist the colors here. Steven Igloo. Sorry, Steven I Igloo. Have, uh, never watched a postseason baseball game. Never? Oh, that's <laughs> right. The oh, Mar- that's right. The Mariners <laughs> never make it. <laughs> yes, that is correct. That was years. a great self. I've been waiting though. 20 years. Yeah. Oh, this is the year, though. Stop it. All right. They're losing to the Nationals right now, so. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. Did you hear that, Chandler? How They're losing to the Nationals. On the Buccaneer Music Hall scoreboard update, one nothing. The score, I'd love to watch it, but we can't the watch Buccaneers. Nationals games. So you can't watch the game. I can't. That's why I'm watching on Game Tracker. What an absolute shame. Let's Joke. take a look at the standings with the Orioles winning last night. They are still two and a half behind the Mariners and uh, the Blue Jays. They're chasing as well. Tampa Bay Rays. Although that, okay, so Mariners are like basically tied or a half game behind the first spot. Yeah, the, I mean, I, I'm i pretty sure that the three wild cards are going to be the Rays, Blue Jays, and Mariners. I mean, all respect to the Orioles. The, the good thing for the Mariners is the Orioles and Rays and Blue Jays should beat up on each other. The Twins, yeah. White Sox, and Guardians should beat up on each other. So ah. if Seattle can just take care of business and beat the Nationals and these other crappy teams they face. And they should get in. It would be good for them to get a home playoff game, though. Which the top wild card. The top wild card gets to host the three-game. It's the best of three, season. yeah. Uh, that's the format this year. All right, uh, let's fire it up. Let's uh, talk special teams. Shirley Rhodes. What's your favorite position? Special teams. That's cool with me. It's not my favorite, but I'll do it for you. I go three sides of the ball. Offense, defense, special, special teams. teams. You know what I thing? mean, if you think about it, isn't a football split into, I guess it's four like four panels. Yeah. This is my favorite part, the special team. Oh, Chandler, oh we got to welcome Chandler yeah. Honeycutt in. I tell you what, let me just step out of the studio. And, uh, <laughs> this is my favorite. This is my favorite phase of the football, or side of the football. Surely, would, uh, would, we got you, a former long Would Chandler snapper. be an expert, you think, in this topic? I mean, do we? Do we have evidence? Year, I'm a former long snapper, so I love talking about this position. I'm a former specialist myself. I used to long snap. All right, I'm going to talk about my favorite part of football, special teams. How's Are you t- that's the truth? You mean that? I'm a former long snapper. So. Oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like as you're saying that you're like flashing a car like a badge or something that you got id oh no what i'm doing is i'm showing my old highlights i I (laughs) flip out my phone i'm like here's my highlights uh you know what we forgot to do during this position preview run i go uh we forgot to google what that is right yeah that was last year's thing though i want to bring back last year's thing (laughs) that was hilarious so i'm just gonna google what are special teams what are the four types of special teams kickoff unit punting unit punt return kickoff return 
What about field goal block? Yep. Google lets you down, man. Google always lets you field down. Field goal protection, I guess. See, nobody, you know, just send the kicker out there. <laughs> just by himself. Nobody in front Snapper, of Snapper, holder, kicker. All right. Uh, Steven, do you know what team was number one in the country in uh, kickoff return last year? North Carolina State. That is correct. Well done. Can't get anything past you. I uh, I like this. I go. We were talking to the players Monday, Delcor Players Lounge. Xavier Smith, Jeremy Lewis, Miles Berry, all said they were going to be a part of teams, teams, kick coverage, uh, punt coverage, perhaps. Uh, has Mike Houston been doing that? Yes. Uh, okay, so he likes to put his best on the field. Not. I mean, maybe not to the extent that I've seen this year, but he's definitely like you've always seen guys like that on at least one or two core special teams units, such as the four ones that Google listed. And, you know, the field goal block, field goal blitz, you're going to see mainly linemen. Um, but you, you just have to have enough athletic linebackers, safeties, DBs. Like Lewis is a perfect guy you want on special teams. Long, fast for his size, good tackler good in space so he just makes a lot of sense on special teams i was saying him from the rush in you know that'd be pretty scary to take a hit but him with a 30 40 yard head start yeah pretty pretty scary not a guy you want a uh a piece of that's for sure so um you remember skip had the uh and it was before your time covering the team but do you remember him talking about that we got to turn to the dirty dozen oh yeah those are his yep. special teams mm-hmm. guys that were if i recall not starters on They're the defense just mainly special teams yeah. i mean that's kind of the role you embrace and there's there's going to be guys on this team you know we've heard the coaches that have kind of mentioned like kind of mentioned guys like devin king and he's probably a third string safety right now but he's a great athlete demetrius speed. mooney made demetrius a name on teams last year you know demel hickman's been a guy that's done that so you're probably going to see some backup corners like you just see a lot of dbs and linebackers that aren't necessarily starters fill those roles how about uh kickoff owen daffer did he handle the kickoffs last year he did remind me so uh you feel good about him can he get in they've, the end zone they've been having a competition I, I have not asked nor really seen you know i would assume they would roll with daffer unless one of those other guys has just made a a big leap in terms of just being able to put the ball in the end zone consistently so that that to me is a concern because daffer did not have a very high percentage on touchbacks last year and they did allow two kickoff returns four scores hmm. i do know they have put a lot of work out into um into special teams and like in into improving that they've maybe switched some things around to allow them to be more consistent in terms of coverage all right let's talk punting briefly so john young out luke larson in luke larson's been in the program we've seen him punt before he was pretty honest uh with chandler in that interview once chandler told him he was a former long snapper i think it allowed luke to really open up knowing that you know he can trust right. a guy like chandler but he talked about how he and you don't really think about it with punters but he talked about how he was kind of gained weight and needed to get back in the right shape and all that stuff so i don't know if he's maybe more committed now than he was previously I think it's fair to say that. I mean, if you look at his freshman year in 2020, he was a pretty big punter. Yeah. I mean, we saw him rumble on that fake punt. But I think, you know, he's just he's always had the leg, and he's always been able to rugby punt and traditional punt. They just need him to be more consistent. Uh, he's a guy that has always had talent. And I think making that transition from Australia to ECU as a freshman during COVID was a challenge for him. You know, you're getting used. To, imagine going to a completely foreign country as an older student and getting used to everything during the midst of a pandemic. Like that's got to be a challenge. So, uh, I just think he's finally more comfortable now. And I think last year he could have gone out there and had a productive season, but John Young was just a little more consistent um, in terms of operation time consistency. So. This is going to be Luke's year, and, and I think he'll be a solid punter. Check out the ECU football Twitter uh, feed if you haven't already to check out the Luke Larson uh, mic'd up. That was pretty entertaining. Also, I believe I saw a uh, – is he rugby style 100% I go, or does he punt traditionally as well? He does both. Okay. So, depending on the sitch? Yep. All right. Or he can do both. He is also the holder on this team. Uh, so there's uh, who was holding last year? Was that that was John, John Young? John Young. John Young. So Luke Larson will be holding this year. Uh, Chandler, we've been waiting for this moment for so long now. 
I'm not going to ask Igo. I have no input on it. Tell us what is going on with the ECU long snapping situation. Well, at first I thought it was Alex Harper that was going to take the reins uh, in absence of Slade Roy, who has gone to greener pastures in the SEC. Yeah, I wouldn't say that. Do you know for sure they're greener pastures? They sucked last year. Do they go to a bowl? No. I think the I think the conference in itself is greener pastures. You think the SEC is better than the American? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> all right. And uh, anyway, but That's crazy. He started all twelve games uh, last year for the Pirates as a true freshman. You get got a guy in Alex Harper, former Eagle, NC Central Eagle. Who I thought was going to come in. Philadelphia Eagle? Former Eagle. <laughs> I don't know if that's who the way going I was going to, I thought, come in here and take the reins at Long Snapper, but apparently there's two transfers. There is another transfer. There is another transfer portal at Long Snapper in Colby Garfield. Uh, and as as of right now, what I do know is those two are battling it out. Wow. we got Every time I go to practice, those guys are literally fighting on the field. <laughs> and they're battling. They're, they're doing thumb wars. They're doing uh, arm they're wrestling. chess. And they're just over there on the turf. Everyone else, the rest of the team is on the the other practice field going team on team. These guys are on the turf field, just on the ground. Mike Houston is crazy. Oh, yeah. Or he loves to compete. Uh, and, and those guys are they're battling their freaking tails. And they're the a office. good bunch. <laughs> a really good bunch. We, like, uh, we got a really good so bunch. So do we have an answer? Who's starting uh, week one against NC State? I don't know because I think I've heard. I mean, I talked to Luke, I talked to Luke Larson, my buddy. And he said that both of those guys are doing good right now. So I guess there is a competition there at the long snapping position. All right. Well, when you find out, compete. let I go know. You can be his source for that story. Uh, and, and sad news, we got to mention it. Um, Trip Smith, he was a freshman set to come in and compete in that competition. Uh, he's a freshman out of high school from South Carolina. He was actually undergoing like the intake physicals, and they found out that he's got Hodgkin's lymphoma. Hmm. Um, and he's actually going through chemo right now. And I, I talked with his dad the other day. Um, he's been cleared to attend the NC State game. You know, as a, I, I don't know if he'll be on the sideline or in the stands. But um, talking to him, he still has a goal of making it back as soon as next spring awesome. and trying to get back on the field. But um, we've been updating that story on Hoist of Colors as well. Sad story for sure. Because uh, he's a guy with a lot of talent. And hopefully he can, you know, beat this thing get back on the field all right so that would add uh you know a third long snapper if he will be able to return next year but good to know uh he'll at least be able to uh see the pirates uh live and in person and yeah definitely pulling for him all right uh we've talked kickoffs we've talked punting owen daffer field goal kicking wise um we're pretty confident in him right yeah, I think he's just a gamer, and like he goes in to games confident. Like, there have been times in practice he hasn't hit the ball the most cleanly, but I, I think anything less than 40 yards you feel really good about, and I think he's tried to improve his strength and has improved his strength. And You know, 45 yards plus, I still want to see more consistency there, and he it's not like he had a bad year from that, but he didn't really get many opportunities. Probably because in practice, you know, he, he can be hit or miss at times on those. But he showed during the Navy game, if he hits it cleanly, he can clearly make it from 55-plus. So, um, want to see maybe some more consistency on the deeper kicks or just more consistent opportunities, I guess is the best way to say it. Uh, but if you're ECU, you obviously, if you're in fourth and medium, fourth and short in those territories, why not go for it with all the weapons you have? I go uh, the stat you love. The last East Carolina Pirate to have a punt return for a touchdown was who? Travis Williams. You have had the tweet in your draft yep. since even before Twitter was uh, done. Yeah, it was, back then it was on MySpace. <laughs> uh, that has been a long time. Who could be that Pirate to do it this season with Tyler Sneed gone? Could be Malik Fleming. Could be C.J. Johnson. Well, how about C.J. back there? Is that... It could be Isaiah Winstead. I've seen all three of those guys getting reps. I think it'll be Fleming. Am I underrating C.J. Johnson's speed? I think C.J. is more of a put your sure-handed receiver back Justin there. Hardy. Make sure, yeah, like make sure he catches the ball, gets some positive yards. I just don't see C.J. Maybe I'll be wrong on this. Now, he can 
I guess he's more similar to Dwayne Harris in that he's going to break tackles. Yeah, and was, once he gets going, he can. He's go. pretty fast. He doesn't. Yeah. Have, I don't know, man. He's not. He's not your acceleration guy. Right. If you're going for pure speed, Malik Fleming would seem to have that. Now he's just not a guy who has the ball in his hands a lot because he's a corner. Not that you can't be a good return man as a corner. Look at Marcus Jones last year from Houston. Look at Deion Sanders. So I mean, you, you, I, and he was an electric punt returner in high school in Atlanta. So. I would like to see Malik Fleming get a crack at it and see how it goes. But, you know, Tyler Sneed did such a good job. He was close to breaking a few, and, you know, hopefully that unit can continue to improve. A couple minutes left to go. Uh, Keaton Mitchell, we're going to see him back there, I go. And if we do, I mean, I'm putting his touchdowns, kickoff return over under one and a half. One and a half. Yeah. I mean, like, I'm excited about it. I mean, people are, like, freaking out about it for the – the wrong reasons i feel like they're worried about him getting hurt and you know my reply to that is look at houston last year how many games they won because marcus jones you know if he doesn't return that kickoff versus ecu ec wins that game i saw a highlight of uh antonio gibson how was washington but when he was on memphis it seems like they always have good mm-hmm. return guys and they're like they're good players returning yeah, kicks like once. put them back there man because if you're nc state and you see Keaton Mitchell's name on the depth chart. I don't care if he hasn't never returned a kickoff in his life. All you have to do is see the all the runs last year, and if you're the special teams coordinator, you're like, crap. Because as good as Tyler Sneed was on kickoff return, Keaton Mitchell is going to strike a lot more fear into a special teams coordinator than Tyler Sneed. Because if you get one seam, one missed tackle, he's gone to the house. So I'm all for it. Yeah, yeah there's a somewhat of a risk, but I think the benefits far outweigh the risk. Yeah, I'm with you, man. I'm excited about that. And uh, I, I'm sure Keaton Mitchell understands the touchback rule, but he probably just didn't understand what I was asking the other day. But So I was like, you know, if you catch the ball within the 20, 25, you get out. And he was kind of looking at me funny, and I was like, well, you just aren't going to fair catch it, are you? Like, I think he just right. wants to return I mean, every single kick and never fair catch. It wouldn't surprise me. I mean, let's be honest. Even if the – I think NC State's got a good kicker. Uh, Chris Dunn has done some kickoff <laughs> specialists. Like, if he puts it seven yards deep in the end zone, Keith Mitchell's bringing that thing out. He even said that. The yeah. Day, so. Like, on the opening kickoff of the season, I guarantee you he's bringing it out. And uh, I wonder if he'll have the authority to do that. We talked uh, with Holden Aylers about how now he says he has free reign to check off audible things like that. Uh, you know, Mike Houston at this point is probably putting some trust in these guys, these right. upperclassmen, you know. And it's hard to see tell keaton mitchell to fair catch the ball <laughs> yeah. too or to take a knee like i mean because you know you see those deep kickoffs like almost the team can over pursue sometimes because they get so excited that oh he's bringing it back like then you can overrun your lane all it takes is one missed lane and he's he's gone man all right kickoff uh punt punt we covered everything yeah special teams good work I mean, really the only question is what type of schemes they'll run and you know, that's really something we don't really know how to answer right now. Uh, we were supposed to talk to Tony Collins last Thursday in the 5 o'clock hour. He had to uh, cancel on us, pick a new day. So we had a free hour, and we were screwing around. But John Moody, uh, and because he wanted me to bring this up with you, he said this is good for you and I go one day. Bold predictions for ECU. And his example was that Campbell would score first against East Carolina, and East Carolina would still win. But kind of like an off-the-wall prediction. If you don't have one now, you can wait till next week. But um, I said for ECU to beat NC State, it's not really a prediction, but it's a they got to score a special teams touchdown, whether it be a block punt, whether it be a, you know a fake field right. goal, fake punt. Uh, I agree with that. Mitchell to the house, like we need one of those plays. Special teams are going to be important this year, and I think they're going to be huge week one, especially after that stat we led this yeah. with State, the number one kickoff return team last year. Well, I know they've been heavy emphasizing special teams the last really two weeks for that reason uh and they always emphasize it but i think even there's more of an emphasis on it now with with nc state coming but i uh the bold prediction i usually do 10 bold predictions yeah when's that coming um probably into this week well let's discuss it next week we'll let you do it next week i'll just say i think ecu beats both ucf and houston at home Mm, okay wait somebody had that was that you the revenge. It was uh, CJ. CJ, CJ yep. called it the revenge home tour. He said that he would. He, he said will, that he, he, he said will, that he ECU will, huh? would get back two of the three losses from last year. 
And those were and, the two. And those yeah. were the two, was UCF and Houston at home, and then Cincinnati would be the one that we lose to on the road. Yep. There you go. I'll Thanks for hanging out. Conversely, I think they lose to either Tulane or USF. I'm right. trying to get Igo out of here. All right, I'm hey, leaving. Get now. out of here, please. I mean, Can you please leave? I'm gone. You had to leave. Can you please right. leave, sir? Can you be quiet, please? Thank you. Charlie can. Thank you. He did not have to tell anybody to be quiet. Bag. Damn. He did not have to tell anybody to be quiet the other day at me- media day. What did you say, Steve? Open up the booty bag. Damn. Open that booty bag up. <laughs> Booty, 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 booty everywhere. Booty, 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 booty everywhere. 317-1250. I love it when Igo takes over the show and starts <laughs> dictating what we should be doing. And it's when he leaves. <laughs> and he, on it's, his way out the door. Leaving. He cusses at Shirley and leaves us to deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> what are we giving away today, Shirley? Um, I'm going to give away... Hey, it's Wednesday night. Hey. hey. $15 gift card to AJ's. Hey. 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 Look at what we got here. We got a wise guy. Uh, look at here. I'm giving you an offer you can't hey. refuse. And how about this? You don't get this $15 gift card? You have a chance to win a gift card tonight if you win first place or second place. So get out there to AJ's. Yo. Yeah, buffoon. Yeah, buffoon. That's a jabroni. What caller? 12. Caller 12. 317 Back with more PRL on a Wednesday after this. There's nothing more important than protecting your family. Fire ants can cause painful allergic reactions and even death. Protect your loved ones at home where you should feel the safest. Visit PestTechAgreenville.com to learn of our once-a-year treatment to guarantee you stay fire ant free. Tested and proven effective by your Eastern North Carolina exterminating professionals at Pest Tech of Greenville. Mention the crying baby for an extra 10% off. Come party like a pirate at the official Pirate Radio football kickoff after party at Dirty Dance. Dirty Dance is open seven days a week and located on 4th Street right beside the downtown parking deck. The Mikhail Buck Band will be the headliner of the after party and anyone with a Pirate Radio football kickoff party ticket gets in free all weekend long. So keep the fun going at Dirty Dance all weekend long with live music with the friendliest staff and the best drink specials in town. Get lucky at Dirty Dance. BMS Builders is your premier custom builder in eastern North Carolina. With homes in Blackwood, Mills Creek, Dalton's Cove and Farmville, and Belmar and Aiden, they're constantly expanding. Now to Laurel Glen and Sarah's Way, plus the new duplex community at Abigail Trails. BMS Builders can build the home of your dreams. Just ask Dr. Dennis Ross in Greenville or ECU football coach Mike Houston. They built their homes and they can build yours as well. Call 916-1578 for BMS Builders. Take a hit from a 300-pound linebacker, and you better be wearing pads. Take a hit on the road, and you better have good auto coverage. When you've got North Carolina Farm Bureau Auto Insurance, you've got the best local agents ready to help you bounce back. If you don't, well, you'll probably play football without a helmet, too. In Pitt County, call Carlton Venters or C.J. Messerly at 252-756-3007. North Carolina Farm Bureau Mutual Insurance Company, Farm Bureau Insurance of North Carolina Incorporated, Southern Farm Bureau Life Insurance Company, Jackson, Mississippi, an independent licensee of the Blue Cross and Blue Shield Association. The Wood Ducks are hosting the third annual Kinston Cornhole Classic on Saturday, September 17th, sponsored by Brooks Pool Realty. Gates open at 10 a.m. and the tournament starts at 11. There will be three brackets with cash prizes for the top three teams from each bracket. The cost is $80 per team. And to register, please contact Maddie Meehan at M-M-E-E-H-A-N at woodducksbaseball.com or call 252-686-5165. We will see you at the third annual Cornhole Classic on September 17th at Granger Stadium. Your power's out. There's a water leak. What do you do? For these and other utility-related emergencies, you need service, and you want it fast. There are two things you can do to get the quickest response if you're a GUC customer. First, you can call the hotline at 1-855-767-2482 and report any utility-related emergency. That number is also on GUC.com. Or second, you can give GUC your phone number. The hotline process is quickest when their account records have your current phone number. Service you can count on. Greenville Utilities. 
Hey, Pirate Nation. This is Amanda Houston. And when it came time to make the game-winning play for relaxation at our house, I made the right call to Jamie Lang and Carolina Hardscapes. Jamie and his team built the backyard oasis of our dreams with a beautiful custom paver patio, outdoor lighting, and fireplace. Make your backyard incredible and call Carolina Hardscapes today at 364-1201 or visit their showroom on Fire Tower Road across from Bostick Suck. Go Pirates! Hey Pirates, this is Holt Nailers. A big part of my success on the field is what I eat at home. To keep my body filled up, I order meals off a Clean Eats meal plan. I choose the meals I want from six different meals offer each week, and I pick them up on Sunday or Monday at the cafe on Red Banks Road. Each meal is packed with the perfect mix of healthy proteins, carbs, and veggies to keep my engine running at full speed. Go to cleaneats.com, click on meal plans, or stop by the cafe and get all the info. Clean Eats and the Pirates, a winning combination. Pirate Radio. We're going to be bigger, faster, stronger, and older. That's always a good combination. The voice of the Pirate Nation. You're listening to Hour 3 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour of PRL is brought to you by Bud Light. Reminding pirate fans to stay in the game and drink responsibly. Bud Light, the official beer of the ECU Pirates and proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. Now, back to the show. Welcome back and congratulations to Pam Odom of Winterville. Walked away with a $15 gift card courtesy of AJ McMurphy's. The best place in Greenville to unwind after work and have fun is AJ. They have daily food and drink specials, an awesome patio, perfect for some outdoor dining. There's something for everyone every weeknight, including sports trivia with our very own Clip Rock. And uh, AJ says live music every Friday and Saturday with no cover and brunch every Sunday. Make today an AJ's day. Now let's head back into PRL. Here is Clip Rock. All right, fired up. Got, I believe, 29 official questions tonight. One round full of college football. So uh, it's going to be fun at AJ's. Come on out, watch some Major League Baseball, hang out with us, uh, enjoy some good food. I'm really looking forward to my chicken cheese steak I'm going to have here in about an hour. So I'm ready to go, Charlie. Yeah, I was actually looking at my calendar because, you know, my birthday week, I always try to come out to AJ's and participate in sports trivia. Hold on. Was that just a drop to say it's your birthday week? No, 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 no. My birthday's not till October. Oh, oh, okay. But I, I, when we were, you were talking about, you know, talk about it. Yeah, we were talking about, about you know, trivia night and everything. So usually on my birthday week, I try to make an appearance on my birthday week. And because you usually assign a category Uh at some point Uh during the trivia. Why don't it? It does not fall on my birthday, but the day before. Okay. So the twelfth. Now, this is Chandler, one of those Shirley build-ups where uh-huh. is she going to say, and I will, I will be, be there, there, or is she going to say, I will not be there? I will be there. She will oh, be there. She will be there. I will be there. All right. Well, I tell you what, Shirley, if you're going to be there, are you uh, bringing a crew? You're going to join a team? Like, what are you going to do? I usually don't bring a crew. I just bring myself. Okay. So I don't plan on bringing a crew, but if that changes between now and then, I will let you know. We could have like, well, I'm not, I don't want to break up any teams, but if you just let me know the week uh, and I will make a Shirley category. Yes. All right. It's a done deal. Well, from here on out until that day, try to assemble. Well, well. Steve Hill has already said Shirley is a member of EC Skin, which is his team. Well, I was going to say, you can either get you a group together of some of the best sports minds that you know and bring them, or if not, you can either join me and 100% or Steve at EC Skin. Or CJ. Or CJ with Conehead. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're a hot free agent right now, uh, Shirley. Wow. No, I want Shirley. No, I want Shirley. No, oh, I want It's turning Shirley. into an all-out bidding war. Who's buying my dinner? That's right. what I want to know. <laughs> I guess you're going to go to EC Skin. <laughs> I was going to say. All right, like, Steve, she's all yours. <laughs> Chandler ain't buying my dinner. I knew that. I hope somebody buys mine. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, uh, we'll see you out uh, there tonight, folks, at 8 o'clock at AJ's. Uh, let's see. We got one more segment to go here. Let's hear another interview. Okay. I've been hearing about Steve Ellis. 
Steve Ellis. Let's put our uh, fins up. Fins to the left, fins, fins to, to the, the right. right. We're the only <laughs> fin in town. <laughs> Steve <laughs> Ellis. <laughs> Uh, talk to former long snapper Chandler Honeycutt. I hate y'all, man. And here is that conversation <laughs> from Media Day. All right, here with Coach Steve Ellis. Uh, tell us about how camp is going so far. Yeah, I think camp is going well. Um, really excited about the guys throughout this camp. Um, you know, we got a group of guys that have an appetite to compete. And all those guys are football lovers. So anytime you coach coaching guys that love football and love to get it better, it's always a blessing to have. You, you mentioned competing. We talked to Coach Houston about competition in this camp. How, how important is that to get the competition in now so when you're ready to roll on September 3rd? You know, I, I think it's critical because it's our job to make sure we put those guys in the most competitive atmosphere they can possibly be in. It's great when we get a chance to get a fast big receiver like C.J. Johnson, especially going against Isaiah Winstead. It, it just makes us better. Iron shop is iron. And we tell those guys, when we get out there, our job is to make sure we compete. Compete, but don't be combative. But it's that fine line of playing with an edge. It's that fine line of playing with a toughness and a tenacity that's going to make you be able to make plays. And we feel like if we get those guys playing at that level, then who are we play against on Saturday? We don't play against some of the best wideouts in the country in practice today. I mean, you get a chance to look at Blake Pearl. You get a chance to look at Tyler Sneeze. Jaquan McMillan, those guys that went on to the National Football League and doing well, we think those guys are really trained here because they plan against the best. Be competitive, competitive, but not combative. You just mentioned a guy, Jaquan McMillan, you lose him to the draft. Uh, talk about a guy that's been here for a long time now, Malik Fleming. How much has he uh, kind of stepped up uh, as a performance uh, standpoint and as a leadership? Unbelievable. I think we use, use, when you lose a young man like Jaquan McMillan, again, he's AP All-American. You know, his name go in that stadium here. Um, it, it's hard to replace a guy like that individually because he had, he did so many things, had so much value to this football team. But collectively, I think those guys up for the challenge. We kind of got a mantra in our room that says the normal names may change, but the standard, the expectations would always stay the same. And that's just a mindset of the next man up. Demel Hickman has done an unbelievable job the past two years playing behind Jaquan McMillan, just been a great special teams player, had two years to develop. Now it's his time to say, hey, it's my time to shine. Malik has been unbelievable. You think about corner last year that made prevalent plays, I think he was really the, the second best corner in the country behind Jaquan McMillan. Now it's his time to shine. You saw him make a really big play here today. But that's a standard. Malik is a young man that has an appetite to compete. Football lover, loves to be around here. A lot of people think the cornerback position is a position that it's all Hollywood. It's all bolts and flames. It's not about that. It's about your everyday productivity, your everyday maturity, your everyday accountability level. So the guys on the football team get a chance to watch him. They know how he's come to work. So the play made today. That's, that, that's expected. That's a standard in that room. Last question for you. Are you still preaching that sharp mentality? The sharp, that's the only way. I love a sharp. A sharp does two things. One thing, he never goes backwards. He's always moving forward. That's just a standpoint we always trying to get better. The next thing he does, he never sleep. He A shark is always working. You never start, start a shark sleep. And we got a mantra in our room talking about mantra. It's a deal. You ain't never saw a shark and a catfish in the same fish tank. It won't happen. It's the teaching that apex competitor. When it's time to compete, we rise up to the challenge. Coach Steve Ellis. He speaks with such force. Like his it's words such power have conviction. Weight on them. Be competitive, like, but not combative. Chandler, you ever uh, seen a uh, shark and a catfish in the same tank? You're never gonna see it. <laughs> never. Never gonna see it. Never ever. I All was, I got to say is, guys, from a production standpoint, standpoint, I've got one, two, possibly three different. You know how I I do an open for the pregame show every year. An open's always an intro is always important. I, intro is always important, but in the head, in my mind, I've already got like the music's picked out. I was just waiting for the right sound bite, something that could, ah, and I just got it. Yeah, the light just flashed. It, it just clicked. And I'm on. just like, You're welcome. Was, you know, because I always everybody panics. They're like, when is the open going to be ready? When's the open going? No, 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 no. The open builds itself. I just have to pay attention and go. Ah, yes. Let me pick from here. 
let me pick from here, piece it all together. The music's already picked out. I, the music's actually been picked out for six months. Oh, wow. So it's all, it's all coming together. You know what breeds good answers? Good questions. You know what, who comes up with good questions? Good interviewers. You know who make the best interviewers? Former players. I'm a former long snapper. <laughs> former long snappers. Chandler, without you, never would have got that answer. So thank you. No, don't thank me. I mean, because, I like you said, good me. answers. I mean, you had Tim Dow so going, oh, shoot. So you're talking about the... But, uh, by the way, real quick, Shirley, do we have Tim Dow? Play the very beginning of Tim Dow's. All right, hold While on. we're giving Chandler all this credit. All right, Tim Dow's. Right. Right. Okay, here yeah, we go. Here we go. Coach, talk about camp so far. <laughs> talk about camp so far. <laughs> all right, cut yeah, it. What, what, what happened what there? What happened there? Wait, what? <laughs> what happened at? with Tim Dow's? It was like said, all of a sudden he just... Man, well, he didn't ask a question. Talk about camp so far. We're giving him too much credit. I'm trying to bring you back down to earth. Oh, you did so. a good job. <laughs> you did a really good job. Well, man, I wish I had... That was my first interview. I wish I had that cartoon. Hey, you got better. You improved That's as exactly you went along. right. That was my first interview. That was a rough start. Yeah. That was a, a rough start because the fact that he paused, I even was like, whoa. Well, what was he going to Was say? he giving you a look? Yeah, like... Well, he just stared at me. <laughs> and I love he repeated your words. <laughs> Like, this guy just said to talk about camp. This guy. What's he doing asking me a question? I like camp. Camp is fun. Uh, do we have time to get our last break in? Uh, no, it's too late now. All right. All right, let's crap on Chandler. Yeah, time. let's do it. <laughs> enjoyed the uh, the credit. Enjoyed the uh, Gotta take the good with the bad. celebratory uh, good job and all this. And now let's just end it on a bad note. I want to shake his hand. Chandler, love you, We want to shake your hand, Chandler. With, yeah, man. You're our guy. You're our guy. You're my Would y'all person. be upset if I said I quit right now and never come back? Oh. I, I would legitimately be upset, like distraught. I quit. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I was like, do you know how many times in the 20 years I've worked here <laughs> I've said I quit? <laughs> I quit. Well, there's my first I'll one. I'll be back tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Pirate Radio is kind of like, it's like we're in a Stephen King movie. You can quit. You can leave. But then tomorrow morning, you'll just show back up here. It's like some kind of weird universe where we're stuck here forever. It. Yeah. It's like in a dream. You try to run away, yeah. but you're not going anywhere. I have quit. It's like, so, it's like Hotel California. You can check out, but you can never leave. I quit so many times here. And <laughs> I, like, done it. I leave. I try. I get a new job even. And I'm ready to go. And I wake up that next morning. And next thing I know, I'm here at Pirate Radio. Just and starting a new day. Yep. Don't know how you got here. I don't know how I got here. Yeah, I just know I've, I'm starting I've had to... days like that, And too. that, folks, is the beauty of it. That <laughs> is the beauty of working for the voice of the Pirate Nation. That's right. Pirate Radio. Coming up 10 a.m. on Thursday, head to UBE. Get two tickets for the Pirate Radio football kickoff party. $10 a ticket. Grab yourself two tickets, and you will get a free T-shirt with the awesome Pirate Radio logo on the front and this awesome logo with a wolf and a sword and some words on the back. Our state. Uh, this can be yours if you purchase two tickets to the Pirate Radio football kickoff party. 10 a.m. UBE in person while supplies last. They're going to go fast. Show up before 10 would be my recommendation. Uh, but, man, uh, people have been wanting these shirts. Now you have the opportunity, opportunity to go out and get them. For the former skateboarder, for the former long snapper, <laughs> I am Clip Rock, surrounded by greatness each and every day here on Pirate Radio Live. You were a former baseball player. Former basketball player. I mean. Former football player. Former farmer. My resume is just, it's multiple pages. It's thick. What did it, what did oh, I, it's thick. What did I say during the break the other day? Oh, oh, during the break earlier in the show, I said, I'm a former a lot of things. <laughs> we have all done a lot yeah, in our yes lives. We have. Yes, we have. That's like I said, I'm the jack of all trades, master of none. Shirley, Chandler, I enjoyed this three-hour ride with you. Yes, sir. As I do each and every day. And I tell you what, let's do it again tomorrow. And how about next Saturday morning. Let's do it for four hours. Why the hell not? And then you know what? We'll watch a football game, and then after that game, let's stay a few more hours. Let's do it. We do this for you. 
And we love it. And we love you. We'll see you Thursday at 3 o'clock. Goodbye. Thanks for listening to Pirate Radio Live, an exclusive presentation of the voice of the Pirate Nation. This is Pirate Radio, WGHB Farmville, 1250 and 92.